Oh, right here, Damo. Oh, like this great, man. Like this Watching the Eagles lose to a Zach Wilson Jets? That made my night, man. That yeah. made my night. I thought the Niners loss would have made my night because I know too many arrogant Niners fans. But the Eagles losing, it definitely topped that. Like, by the Jets with no rock? The Jets? Yeah. I'm, I loved it. That was by far the dumbest thing I've heard you say, honestly, bro. <laughs> Isn't it? Like, yeah, can, like – I don't even want to talk about it. I, I've never been like that. I've never been so upset off of a game besides uh, that Jets and Eagles game, actually. That actually got had me so pissed off. I mean, off you're physically sick everything. right now. We can hear it. You're physically That's sick. That's what it sounds like. It, it actually it drove you like sick. It. You're actually sick. Uh-huh. Bro, I'm not I'm not sick. I got allergies. Nah. <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm serious. I really got allergies, bro, which is annoying. But that was a bad game, bro. And – Bro, and then you know what's so crazy? This was such a bad week of football in terms of like gambling wise because there were so many upsets. The Giants almost beat the Bills, and the Giant honestly, the Giants got robbed. They got jerked last night twice. Twice they did. It was ridiculous. So they did. They got it robbed. Was, it was one hundred percent. They got robbed. Mm-hmm. But how's everyone doing, bro? How was everyone's weekend? A lot of preseason basketball ticket was good with you, bro. How's everybody rocking, brother? What was going on? And Domo, don't think I ain't see that pick six from Tua yesterday that everybody just kind of glossed oh, man, over. Man, like, man, so man. Like, that was a terrible man. pick six. That was a terrible 20. pick six. I, and, and I know that, you know, everybody just glossed over it because they was there was against a winless team and they was up by three touchdowns. But I'm I'm watching Tua throw that pick six, and I'm like, dude, this the kind of stuff that happens in bad games. So listen, man. You see what happened after he threw it? Absolutely nothing. Nothing but confidence. If you heard our coach after that win yesterday, he said we went down 14-10, and this would let me know you boys is different. Because y'all were still as confident as if we, if we were up 70-20. to 20. Y'all were still confident. And that's what I like. As a lifelong Dolphin fan, I've never felt this type of confidence from this unit before. This is great. I love the football I'm seeing from my team. So that picks this. Fuck it. Who cares? You got to throw one. Who cares? Since we're on, since we're on, the, subject of, since we're on the subject of confidence, Ticket going to walk back that Terry Cloth very soft logic this season. He going to walk that back. He is. He going to have to walk it back. Because I think I because I think Anthony Davis. I mean, I watched Giannis last night, and Giannis looked like Giannis. He he he's he still got that bounce. Um, he looks more confident in the mid range. He looks confident like he did a couple years ago. He didn't look that confident last year, but he looks more confident in the mid range, where it's at least respectable. Um, but Anthony Davis, Ticket's going to walk back that logic. Definitely, definitely going to walk back that logic. Mm. We're going to wait and see about that. You know, we got to see how it pans out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But mm-hmm. hopefully everybody's doing well. Hello. How's everyone well, doing? Ticket back in effect. Back. I'm ready for everybody to walk back how they was, including me. Listen, man, we might have been wrong about Vic. We might have been, we might have been wrong about what he's going to be able to do in the NBA. I didn't think Pop was going to give. Listen, you can say it's preseason, but I'm telling you, a lot of these teams they're using the preseason to build good habits. The fact that Greg, like that Coach Pop, is really about to let this man bring the ball up the court, be yep. as free and, and and flow as free on the perimeter as he wants is crazy. I didn't think he was going to allow it to happen. I thought he would traditionalize him a little bit. I thought he would put him more in the post or just, you know, range him in. So he is letting Vic be Vic. And a lot of people are criticizing him being too old. You might, hey, man, Pop is a good coach, bro. Let him be a coach. Remember when I told you that, Domo, you called me a hater. Remember Mm. you told me what I was talking about? What are you talking about? I I do remember that ticket. I do remember that. Yes, I do. I was telling you what Vic was going to do. And you said, nah, Pop ain't going to let him do all that, blah, blah, blah. You did say that, Damo. Yeah, so you know, well, first of all, Tiki, you were that, one of the people. Damo, you always crazy. getting cooked, bro. This oh, is dog, crazy. Let's not talk about somebody always getting cooked. Please stay away. No, 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 no. You're the same person, you're the same person that was talking about the same tip as Draymond Green and Paul George saying, oh, these guys aren't going to allow him to do that. These guys aren't going to just no, let the four no, no. guys up tie, bro. No, no, no. I said, I, I said, no, what? You, you, Damo, you know I, you know, I'm the master disaster, so I had to get you started. But, I, you know, um, you said. When I came on here, it was me and Ron telling you guys what Vic was going to do, that he was going to destroy the league, and that he was going to be one of the greatest players that we've ever seen play the game of basketball. 
And you said, hold on, no, 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 Pop is coaching, blah, blah, blah. And then you guys were talking about how maybe Pop's time in the NBA was done with and his time had passed him in the NBA. And I told you, you have a talent like that, and he's going to let that guy, the talent over, over see, supersedes the coach. Now, I will say one thing that I did say that was wrong that day. What I said that was wrong was, was I said that I thought that he would be averaging double-figure rebounds, and I take that back because I am disappointed in Popovich because he obviously, from summer league to now, have not been pressing this boy about crashing the boards because all he do is leak out every single time. Mm-hmm. And I don't like that. Like if that's, why he, that's how he played in France, Ticket. He played like that in France, and I no, think it's seeping over, no, no. To, it's I'm seeping over I'm, to, to what he's doing I now. With we, I, I thought that Pop was going to get on him about that between summer right. league and now. And to mm-hmm. see him come on the preseason and still doing that same thing, I don't like that, bro. Because it's saying it's saying you seven four, you you got a length, athleticism. You should at least be getting ten rebounds a game. There's no way that KD was getting like what? How many six seven rebounds a game he's getting? And you're only getting like four rebounds. Come on, man, nobody, come on, bro. Well, why, you think that name, you think that something that could change over time? You said it what? Shouldn't. It shouldn't change over time. Let him be him. He's a gazelle on the open court. He likes to play in transition, and you're playing him with another big. It's one thing if he's the five, but if mm-hmm. they're going to continue this trend of playing a five next to him, fuck it. Let that Collins get all the goddamn rebounds he wants. <laughs> Wimby will rebound defensively when he needs to. Well, when he needs to, if he's in the post trying to defend. Other than that, let him run the floor like he wants. Did people not see him running down the court looking like Giannis taking two steps from half court, and you're euroing at the three-point line and at the rim? Like, let him, let him be free. Yeah, but see, the thing is, Damo, with Giannis, Giannis also giving you the 10 to 12 rebounds a game. And that's right. important because when you play when you play winning basketball, you have to rebound the ball. You can't just play LeVar ball basketball where you cherry picking the court half the game and trying to get layups and dunks because you're not crashing the boards. Because if you don't get the rebound, you're not going to get on the break. And so if they find out that he's not going to rebound at all, they're just going to send everybody to box out that other guy you're talking about. He's not going to be able to get rebounds. Because they're going to understand that, okay, Vic is going to leak out every time. If we secure the offensive rebound, there's no way he can get on the break if we get all the rebounds. So he has the rebound. 7-4, you have to – bro, it's mandatory that you – we complain about Shaq not getting enough rebounds sometimes. Imagine that. Like, you have to board at that, at that, at that – I'm just saying, at that size, at that, you have to – like, I don't even know how many rebounds Dirk, Dirk Davinsky was averaging in his prime. But I'm pretty sure he's probably averaging around six, seven rebounds. Ten and nine. Uh, in the yeah. playoffs, he never averaged double figures in the regular season. Never. Yeah, no, no. Well, in the regular season, I'm saying he's probably averaging. Yeah, what was he averaging in the, play- in the regular season? Six? No, he's averaging eight or nine in the, in the regular season. But in the playoffs, between he, uh, six and eight. His peak, his peak in the regular season is nine point nine. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, chill time. One sorry. time, Mars. Yeah, twice, one time, twice. But the way, nine point nine twice, and then nine point nine. That's still that's he had a very long. What's his career average like eight? Career average like seven five. That's because the last few years. Wimby should be rebounding more. Wimby's looking like low I don't like that. He's looking like yeah. I told I told you guys this would happen, sir. Yeah, he should be rebounding more. That lineup they had uh, Jeremy Sochan out there with Sochan at the four and Vic at the five. Was that the lineup? I don't even know if Vic. I don't because, even know if Vic was at the five because I'm trying to figure out what kind of offense that they running because they run a lot of stuff with Vic on the wing. He looks and like a three. He's and a yeah, half time looks like they run him at the three. And if that's they, the case, yeah, I'm saying they run a lot of stuff. They have a case where they have if that's what Pop is doing, where they have Vic essentially being a three, Sochan right. at the four, and Zach Collins at the five again. I mean, not even Keldon. I mean, not even Zach Collins. You have Keldon Johnson as well, depending on the match or well, depending on the lineup you run. That's a uh, two fours averaging five boards a game and a big giving you seven to eight. On top of Wimby, he's giving you what at least six. Let the kid run. Even if teams want to say, okay, we're going to scheme to box out the big. There's other guys that are still you can gain rebound as a team if the idea is get Wimby in the open court because that's where he's more comfortable. Now, if there's an issue and something needs to be adjusted. I'm a thousand percent positive of all coaches. Pop will adjust and have Wimby rebound more if it's a problem. But right now, it's about getting him used to being in the NBA, letting him figure out how he's going to score against this matchup, this defense, this coach's scheme. I heard, I want to say it was probably Gilbert Arenas said something. I was like, shit, that makes sense. Say, give him about two years so he really figures out how he can score on everybody. So when he plays Giannis, give him two years to figure out, okay, this is what I can and can't do against Giannis. This is what I can and can't do against Jokic. This is what I can and can't do against AD. Well, I don't he's think naturally he talented. He's naturally gifted. I, 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 think, I think that he's the greatest prospect that we have ever seen in the NBA history. I, I, I don't even think he needs that, Domo. I don't think he needs none of that. 
This kid knows how to score every position, every which way on the court, bro. The move he made to adjust on Chet and finish with the other hand, bro, bro, at 7'4", a cat doing that? Bro, you don't That's even see Six, six, ten, six, ten, six, nine dudes have problems handling the ball. And everybody, remember, everybody was saying, oh, he ain't going to be able to dribble the ball like that. He ain't going to be able to do all that. Man, he's doing all that. Draymond said that. He's not going to Draymond and Paul George said that. Draymond said yeah, that. Yes, he, and he's not going to get worse. He's not, He's only going to get better as time goes along. The dude is KD on steroids, bro. Point blank period, man. And Mar said one thing I do agree with that little punk on. He said that – uh. He said that he thought that, and I damn, I, I'm glad. I don't think I made a bet with Mars on this, but he said that I might have. He said something about we were talking about the three point shooting, and I might have to agree with that little chump right now because his three point shooting doesn't look like it. It looks like it is. It, it, it needs work. It needs work. It needs work. But it's not. It ain't going in right now. So yeah. Mars might be right this season. I don't think he. I don't think he's going to be up at 35% like I thought he was going to be this I, season. I would, I would, I would Dama to the sense of I think it is a couple of years. Let him figure it out. I think I think Greg Popovich too is trying to figure out the most optimal way to optimize all the skill sets that Wemby does have, whether that's playing him at the four or five. Obviously, he's not going to be an Andre Drummond type getting you 13 rebounds a night, banging inside. He's going to play on the perimeter more, I think more so as a Porzingis type, while still be able to get into the rim, I think, a little more. But I don't think he's going to be a double digit rebounder until maybe four years into his career, five. I, I, I think right now for the next three years, six to eight is what we're probably going to get with him just because I think his game, it's, it's, it doesn't. I don't think it's going to take that long. I don't think it's going to take that long. I don't, I don't think it's going to take that long. I don't think it's going to take four or five years for him to be a double digit rebounding guy simply because mm-hmm. Greg Popovich, how he preaches defense and this kid, the rim protector that he is and yeah. the rim presence that he is, he's going to be in the middle of the paint deflecting shots. Not just deflecting shots in the meat and potatoes of games, he's going to have to rebound. And I think Greg Popovich is going to do a really good job at showing him. That's why he got Tim Duncan back. That's why he brought in Dave Robinson to show this guy where he should be, how he should be positioning himself. Because rebounding isn't just standing underneath the basket and rebounding the basketball. It's a little bit more than that. There's technique. There's slipping. There's slipping blockouts. There's learning how to block out. There's second chance rebounds where you're going after rebounds after the ball comes off the glass and hits the floor. Stuff like that. So, Mars, do you think Taylor Jenkins has tried to get Jaron Jackson to rebound? Do I think Taylor Jenkins is trying to get? get... Yes. Do you think he's been working on Jaron Jackson rebounding, or do you think he's fine with him getting six rebounds? I think he's one of the most overrated coaches in the NBA. So do I. I don't know. So, so, do you think, do you think Taylor answer, Jenkins is doing his job and Jack answer, is to, a bad rebounder, or he's not telling him to rebound? Who you said? The, 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 first, the first one, Moss. I just don't think Jaron Jackson rebounds. I think Taylor Jenkins is actually trying to get him to rebound. I just don't think he does it. I disagree. Just saying for I, I don't think Taylor, I think Taylor Jenkins is satisfied with him being the player that he is, and he thinks that he's dominant in the way he is. I don't think mm-hmm. he is. Because I'm gonna tell you something. No, no, no way. The, the reason why I feel like that ticket is because I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. Because if Larry Brown was coaching him, the dude would average double figure rebounds, no question about it. He'd average around 13, 14 rebounds a game. So that's how I know. Like when a coach wants you to do something, he's gonna get you to do something. So if he's playing for a guy like a Larry Brown, if he's playing for a guy like a Phil Jackson, if he's mm-hmm. playing for a, a, one of those all time greats, or one of those guys who's just gonna push you to play that type of basketball, you're playing for a Tibbs. He's going to be around the basket eating glass, bro. Right. This coach he's with now, I don't trust that coach. He's He he, he, he got away because he has talent. His talent is good. For example, but if I put that same coach that's with OKC right now with Memphis, Memphis would have already went to the NBA Finals. If I give Memphis the coach they got at OKC, that, that coach they just had last year at OKC they got right now, yep. Memphis would already have been in the NBA Finals. Straight Mars, up. You a, Mars, you made a point about – uh, Joker trying to defend. He's just not very good at it. And it's not like he's not trying to do it. I don't think Jaron Jackson tries to rebound as much. I think that he's become one of the one of the modern day bigs. He plays on the perimeter. He rim protects like a big should, but I don't think that he tries to rebound. I don't think he put that in his game. And I think Taylor Jenkins has tried to get him to rebound. I just don't think that he's good at it. I disagree, Chill, because if you try to get somebody to rebound and he don't, you sit his ass on the bench. That's how it goes. You don't but follow the, the rules. Here's the difference with that, though, Ticket. The reason why that logic doesn't work is because the same thing could be said for Kyrie Irving. You don't think that Jacques Vaughn, you don't think that those guys wanted Kyrie Irving to play defense? 
He just doesn't do it. But he does so many other things offensively so good that he's got to be out on the floor. Well, Jaron Jackson, his ability to rim protect, his ability to Wait, 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 stop, stop right there. No, I don't. See, that's the di- that's the difference with how we think in Chill Town. And you, you old enough to know this, bro. They're not. They're giving him a pass because he's that great. But see, when we talk about the old school coaches, they're not going to give him a pass. The old school coaches, ain't the Chuck Daly's of the world, all them dudes, they're not going to care about Kyrie Irving's offensive skill set if you ain't, you ain't giving up on defense. And look, well, Isaiah good. Thomas was not a great defensive player, but Chuck Daly was out there like, hey, bro, you're going to fake it till you make it out here, bro. You're going to do something. You understand what I'm saying? So if you go back and watch the film, he's giving effort. He just wasn't great at it. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a that's the same thing. logic. With, that's the same logic with with Jaron Jackson Jr. He no, no, actually, no, no, I don't see he, him giving. He, does, he doesn't rebound. He he doesn't rebound as much as I would like. I think he should be a double digit rebounder. No questions asked. I think he should be a double digit rebounder. I just I think it's a combination of the two. I don't think he's very good at it, and because he's not very good at it, I think he focuses on other things. That's what I, I think th- it is with him. I think I think with Memphis, well. It- so I just looked at the stats. They were second in overall rebounding last year in the league. They grabbed the second most rebounds. They're fourth in defensive rebounding. I just don't think rebounding is an issue for them. So the system they use to rebound, whether that's letting other players rebound, whether that's Steven Adams or the rest of the team, it still allows them to be successful in the rebounding department. So I can understand you you wanting him to get 10, 9 rebounds a game, but also the team, rebounding is not an issue. It's a strength for them. So whatever they're doing is working. No, it's not. See, it is I'm not buying that logic. Out. The reason why I'm the not buying that logic rebounded. is because now, even if even if that's true, you're yep. starting four men. Since when does the four man not rebound? That's my job. I mean, as look, the four man, that is I my mean, job. It's, it's, it's not solely too. the responsibility of the five men to rebound. I'm the power forward. I'm the dirty work guy. That's my job I, to I, rebound. I, but, but, now have, but but chill. When you have guys that's like so such an exception like your four man's not supposed to be dribbling the rock and taking mid-range pull-up shots like mm-hmm. Wemby's doing right now so right. you got a guy that's like such an exception and they have bodies down there that could grab mm-hmm. boards for him now I, I think do think ticket is right because I thought Wemby mm-hmm. in this scenario should be grabbing more rebounds as well but I mean they have people that can do that for him now can he develop later on in his career to be more of this better rebounder due to necessity of what the team needs sure but right now i don't think they just really need that right now i think right now they're just trying to be like wemby work on your game work how you're going to attack this game and dominate this game and then this rebounding thing this will be called upon later on in years Mm -hmm. when we really need you to do it but right now our main focus is for you to polish up your offensive game because we see the offensive tools we see what you can be and this is going to be something that's going to be unstoppable for us in years to come. I, I think that's fair. really the idea. Which, which mm-hmm. is really quick, really quickly, Miles, which is fair because he just got the job. So I don't expect him to be a 25 and 12 guy right out the gate. Yo, he just got the job. He doesn't even know the pro game yet. I accept mm-hmm. that. However, I do feel like later on, I do feel like later on he will be a double digit rebounder because he does look like he can, he does look like he can def- rebound. And I mean, Greg Popovich, I think he'll put that in him. And plus, he got the other guys and Tim Duncan and Dave Robinson to show him how to do it, too. I'm sorry, Miles, if I interrupted you. Um, on Memphis defensive rebounding, the reason they're second in the league in defensive rebounds is because their defense just forces a lot of missed shots, so there's more defensive rebounds to get. As a percentage of rebounds available to them, they're like middle mm-hmm. of the pack. They're not second. They're like 18th. When it comes to the mm-hmm. total amount of defensive rebounds they actually get as a percentage of what's available. The reason they're second in total defensive rebounds is because they were like the second best defense in the league. So teams were just missing more shots. You miss more shots, there's more rebounds available to get. So, so it ain't like they're clean and glad. Yeah, so they were actually a very good right. rebound. So, team. so, so they're, 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 offensive rebounding? Hold on. they're fourth in offensive rebounding too. Well, overall, yeah, that's because, yeah, yeah, offensive rebounds in there, great. Steven Adams averaging five a game. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Defensive rebounding. Right so would they get would they get triple J a pass because he's like the head of the defense? So why reason why they're great on defense? That's why the team gets a lot of rebounds because yeah. guys like Jaron Jackson are able to force a lot of missed shots. But their team isn't a very good defensive rebounding team, so maybe they would benefit from Jaron Jackson being a better so, rebounder. So taking that OG would that get him a pass then? Because maybe he's no, very he impactful on defense that he can't get no rebounds. No, he don't no. get no pass because no. because the great ones do it all. The, the teams of the world, they do it all. They they block, they rebound, defend, and and, and block shots. You know what I'm saying? So the great ticket, ones, go, keep, go, going, go. keep going, keep going. No, I'm just saying, you can go across the list. Mm-hmm. Dwight Howard defends, rebounds, block shots. Ben Wallace I mean, defends, rebounds, block shots. So Jerry Jackson Jr., you're a defensive player of the year. Defend, rebound, block shots. 
Draymond Green shouldn't be getting the same amount of rebounds as you. And you got like four or five inches on him, bro. This just shouldn't, it never should happen, can I, bro. Can I ask in the last five years, who have been like top five power forwards in the league? The last five years? Anthony the last Davis, five years. Yeah, Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis. Davis Giannis. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Anthony Davis, Giannis. Who, who else am I thinking about? Siakam is in that conversation. Um, yeah. let's see. Uh-huh. You're gonna say Draymond Green at some point. I'm just yeah, I was gonna say Draymond Green might be. Yeah, Dray, Draymond, Draymond also. Uh-huh. Um, I think that I think that I, I think that will chill. You can also say yeah. Julius Randle if you want. He definitely you can possibly it, it, say Julius Randle. Is Giannis AD and then it's a big gap between everybody else? Yeah, right. I agree with that. I think I think where Damo is going is is how are those guys on the glass? Not even that. Not even that. Not even that. I mean. You just name the list are going through names. We'll let right. you know how those guys are on the glass. My point is, why are we holding these guys, seeing what the power forward is now, why are we holding them to the standard of what the great power forwards were before? I understand, Tiki, you were going with the defensive player of the year logic. I get that. Even with that, I find, like, ah, I don't know. But I, I get where you're coming from. But in general, comparing them to the KGs that would hit the glass or any power forward from the past that hit the glass hard, Mm. I'm saying, it's no re- at, Triple J is not that guy. No, I'm saying, Draymond, like at, these guys no, no, now, no, no, what the no, power forward is, it, it's not that. Like how Chill no, was no, saying no. earlier, when has the power? When has the power forward not been required to rebound? No, no, this I era, now. I understand, you, I, understand, I understand what you. Giannis is second in league in rebounding, and Damo. And I would say, like that. and I would say, Giannis is an all-time great. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. But what I'm saying, all-time great. Those guys are exceptions for the norm of this era. Damo, if you look at all the big men that won Defensive Player of the Year award in NBA history, mm-hmm. they all defended most of most all of them. Ninety eight point nine percent defended rebounded. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Aaron Jackson Jr. 100%. is the only one that don't hit the boards, bro. That's unacceptable. Yeah, and then let me say this. Let me go beyond that and say this. And I think I know why. He was. He. I think he was one of them cats that hit a growth spurt that didn't know he was going to be as big as he was. Because his, uh, his daddy, his uh, daddy ain't bigger than him. No. And his daddy was a shooter. Yeah. So when, you, when he grew up, you grow up in that mold of thinking that you're going to be a guard and a shooter and all mm-hmm. this other stuff. And then mm-hmm. you hit that growth spurt. And now you got to play like a big. You know what like I mean? Anthony yeah. Davis. Yeah, like you know Anthony what I mean? Davis. I can't give him a pass because Anthony Davis. Was said, you know, well, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, no, no, you're not. You know, this one I'm saying. I'm saying, you know how many cats that came up that was playing one position? So they thought mm-hmm. doing something and then they hit a growth spurt in one or two summers. AD. And now, and now you're told to go go under the basket. If you can see it with Jaron Jackson, still want to jack up threes mm. in his game. So he still wants to mm. be away from the basket, even though he is a big, and and his game more so is, is better suited if he's closer to the basket. So just just in general, that, that of the guys who shoot all those threes like he does, that takes them away from the basket. All those other dudes who was winning Defensive Player of the Year awards. They mainly was not shooting three pointers, so they all was hanging around the basket. They all was eating glass. That is the re- that's another reason why I think his rebound struggle, and that's that's the thing I said about Wimby, is that when you're hanging away from the basket, and and I hate when Mars is right about that because I that shit man, I was thinking about that the other night when he had like four rebounds. I'm like, bro, you got to get around the basket, man. Like every time I see this dude chill town, he just all out on the perimeter every single possession almost. He operating from the perimeter. Now he can play. He's KD on steroids. He got more skills than LeBron and all these dudes and Mike and all these dudes coming into the league. Can't nobody deny that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But still, bro, like, I, I want to see him do the work. I want to see that motor. Like, SB, you fight that? You, you fight that skills, that skill logic? You fight that? Mm-mm, no, I agree. I, okay. I think, I think this is this, this the most craziest thing I've ever seen, bro. Damo, you, you fighting that skill logic, Damo? What skill logic? From from that from from the most skilled prospect. Bro, he's like a video. I, 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 I think Luca. Luca might have came into the league. Luca might have came into the league. Then more 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 skilled offensively than Wimby. I think Luca. I think Luca. I think maybe. I think Luca clears, but yeah, I think you know what I'm saying. Luca's really. He's talking about with the height. He's talking about like yeah, based on the height. Like no, I'm I'm sorry. Wimby Wimby for sure is a better prospect in terms of what he can become. Right. In terms no, no. of what they came in, we're just talking about when they walk on yeah, the walk when walk he came in. Bro. 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 You thought you thought Luca was better off when he walked in as a rook. Just from a skill, just from a skill set. Are you serious? Absolutely. Is passing a skill? Is passing a playmaking not a skill? 
Don't try to get it. Hold on. 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 It ain't his fault he got bozos that can't catch the ball. He's putting some nifty passes out there that dudes can't finish with. That was just like LeBron. Hold on. That was just like LeBron. That was just like LeBron early on. That was just like LeBron early on when LeBron was putting them nifty passes and didn't have the guys that could kind of finish early on in his career. But he had he had a great passing ability. It looked bad when you turn it over. You understand what I'm saying? But when we can pass that ball too, he's out there throwing no looks, passing on the break. Not better than Luca. Yeah, when when we can pass, no one's. No one is saying he can't pass. pass. Not as good as Luca. Oh oh, no, no, no. Okay, so so hold on. So I don't see nothing from Luca that's out of the world passing the ball. I see some crazy guy. passes by Luca ticket. When, when he first walked in the door, ticket. I'm talking about when he came in the league, man. Stop from when Luca. That's what we're talking about. We're not moving the goalposts, ticket. Hold on, hold on. What I don't want to do is I don't want to turn him in the year. Yeah, I don't want to turn this into six versus one because no, I want to do that. No, I want it. I don't want to do that. But but Luca, when he first walked in the door, his skill set was superior to all of them. He it was wasn't, struggling. He it, averaged well, 20, but course, he was struggling at rookie year. Of course, year. he's struggling. Yeah. Of, of, of course, he's I struggling. Think, I, think I think y'all overrated rookie Luca a little too he much. He was struggling. That, his was rookie, struggling. hold on. His he rookie year, he averaged rookie. 20, but he was struggling, bro. He was. It, 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 it looked better. In year two, year three look way better, bro. For, course, sure. Course. for sure. But in year one, in year one, wait, are we talking about two or are we talking about production? Which one? I'm talking about. Hold on, Mars. I'm talking about his offensive game. In year one, that this what Wemby look like right now. Is way better than what Luca was looking like in year one. And if y'all sit up here and tell these people that, that's another lie y'all don't tell. Oh, wait, we got, we got, we got. I want to add to the fact. Wait, 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 I just wait, respectfully wait. disagree. I, no, no, I, I respectfully, but I Actually, think y'all yeah, add to the fact. Hey, no, sad, with with be defensive skill set, I think he definitely came in the league more. I ain't talking about defense. I'm talking about his yeah, offense. Talking about yeah, talking about offense. Yeah, yeah, if you include defense, you include defense. You have no argument for me. Defense, because I think Wemby's going to be one of the best defenders in the league from day one. I'm not arguing that. Yeah, but I'm going to you have to add everything. Exactly. You have to add if you're set for record. One thousand percent. But if you take out one half of the boot to make the argument, I'm going to disagree. No, no, I'm not mad at that. But when I'm saying it, I'm talking about everything. Y'all watch Luca and you too, Damo. Matter of fact, he struggled that rookie year. I ain't talking about. You can look at the numbers. The numbers look solid, but he struggled that rookie year to find out the NBA. Me watching Wimby off these mm-hmm. two. Hold on, hold on. Me watching Wimby right mm-hmm. now. He's getting whatever he want out there. Easy, mm-hmm. easy, mm-hmm. easy. Uh, okay. okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, Even so. if I go another rookie, I go Kyrie Irving. How about that? Mm. Offensively skilled. I mean, on offense. Yeah, but hold on. But he wasn't, hold on. But I'm he talking all around. I ain't even going to go offense. offense. No, I'm, I'm celebrating. Just, no, no, no. We're just talking offense. offense. That's all we're we're not moving to go for. No, no, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Go ahead, check it. Go ahead, check it. The reason why, hold on. The reason why I'm saying Wimby is because of this, and I I can't play with you on the Kyrie Irving thing because he was a, he was a monster. But w- the fact that Wimby seven four, mm-hmm. that has something to do with the, what my saying too, because you're watching a seven four dude That's, do do what real, he's bro. doing. That is insane. It don't look real, bro. It That's that real. yo. That is some video game type shit, Adamo. Adamo, do you know when I Wimby's gonna be on the video game? Do you not? First of all, <laughs> he's, all, already, he's already OP. He's I'm already OP. On it, 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 what, what, what does that mean, Mars? I don't even know overpower. that. Overpower. He's overpowered. He's a cheat code. He's a cheat code. Yeah, you created him already. The Spurs in my career, just throw ropes. First of all, first of all, I've already beat the Spurs in play now. Them niggas is easy work. Wimby's not like that. They trash. They don't got nobody. You have to play on the Spurs in my career to get the full advantage. He averages like 35 points a game. He's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But I can't sit here and say just because a guy is 7'4", man, don't get me wrong, it's amazing what he does at 7'4". But if I'm comparing a guy like Wimby to rookies like Luka, rookies like Kyrie and other offensively proficient rookies, I can't then say, oh, he's 7'4", so even though it might not be as amazing as Kyrie, 
but he's seven four can do this unlike other seven four people. So that's just as amazing. No, but you have to, you but have, have to do that. Though. No, you don't have to do that. But it's just like making it. No, but as, as the, the, the point is, you can't. Saying, it's the same. Saying, it's just oh, like giving someone a. Oh, you're not good at defense. Oh, but it's because you're small. Like you're giving someone a pop, but like you're still worse than someone else. But, but Kyrie is still are. more skilled than Wemby. Wemby is more skilled for a seven four guy. You can say Wemby's more impressive. We're not doing relative to height. Who's more skilled? But no, it does matter because like perfect example. It's not a pound for pound argument. Yeah, we're not doing that. 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 We're not doing and when people, when people say he has godlike skills, I say they are lying because he and, doesn't. He's just skilled for a big guy. But they give him the credit of being Curry, skilled because... But you know, which is wrong. wrong. They should They're wrong. And they're wrong for doing that. In the era of people comparing Stephen Curry shooting to Kevin Durant shooting, and people were sitting there saying, oh, no, Kevin Durant's a better three-point shooter because he's seven feet. He can shoot over people. That doesn't no, no. make you better no, no. because you're seven no, no. feet. You're just seven no, feet. I, I'm, giving him, no, no. I'm giving him... Better. I'm giving him extra credit for the degree of difficulty because I'm going to say it to you like this, right? I agree when you are big, it's harder to do stuff guards do when you are big. For example, it's harder to dribble the ball between your legs and do all that because your arms are longer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're taller. You have more space to, to, to make up for. When you're a guard and you can keep everything tight for example, Let me give you a perfect example, Damo. You played football before probably. Like, yep. if you lifting mm -hmm. weights, it's easier for you on the bench press. It's easier for a guy like Dub who's – like Dub is short and stumpy. So it's easier yeah, for Dub yeah. because he ain't got that long, he ain't got that much mm -hmm. to push up when he's on the on the on the on on, on the incline bar. So if he's doing right. a bench press, Dub arms ain't long. Dub got alligator arms. So him doing a him doing him doing a bench press is way easier than a dude six eleven who got a seven inch a seven a foot a wingspan because now he has to go all the way up and come down. Mm -hmm. So when we talking about Wimby and you are talking about his skill set, everything that Kyrie and those guys do. It's harder for Wimby to do any of that stuff. It's harder for him to be able to dribble between guys, reverse spin, fade away, all this stuff. The dude wears a size 22. It's hard. <laughs> Bro, that, it's hard. And on top of that, and on top of that, if you got a bigger guy who does the same thing that a smaller guy does, who are you taking? I'm telling you. Yeah, 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 I said, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, 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 it's also harder for Kyrie to finish like Wemby does. Thank you. No, 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 no. There's benefits and negatives to each one. It's harder to finish around the rim as a small guy. It's easy to finish as a big guy. It goes both ways. Wemby look like KD in year five right now. Ooh, nah, we ain't doing that. No, 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 no. I was with you. I was with you. Hey, Ticket, you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, Ticket, hold on, hold on. I'm going to walk you off this ledge, Ticket. You are not jumping off this ledge, Ticket. I'm not going to let you do that. I'm going to tell you why. Oh, my God. Because everything he does is with ease. Ain't nothing he doing out on the court. When KD came in the league, yes, he got buckets, but his game wasn't polished like it is now. Like I mean, like it was when he got five years in the game. Right. Same thing with LeBron. It took LeBron like eight or nine years to really polish his game and figure out the player he was going to become. Bro, what Wimby's doing right now, he's doing what they was doing in year five, year six, bro. No. He's coming in. So, so, so it, 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 it's good. No, it's okay. no, no, I was with you. No, I was with you. No. I, I, I'm about to, I, I was with you. No, this is what it sounds like you're trying to tell me, Ticket. You're trying to tell me that Kevin Durant in year five, just so you know, that was the year they was in the NBA finals. How smooth yeah. his game was. How I'm taking Wimby right now not... over Kevin Durant in year five. And you say in the ticket, and you say in the round. I think you're top I think you're in the world in 2012. But I think he's not even top 20 in the league right now. Watch this, y'all. We ain't gonna come back, man, for this season, dog. And all these chips, dog. Because I'm about to revise my statements. We're not going to come back all the way midway through this season if this boy averaging 28, 27, 28 points per game. Easy. Because that's what we're looking at right now. If it's 27, 28 a game this I'm going to say this to you right now, Chill Town. When he comes and he's putting up 27, 28, easy. Because that's what it's like is going to happen. Because he's already doing this in, 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 in preseason, and it looks easy the way he's getting his numbers. So don't tell me what he's in, in the regular hey, season. He's talk about he's Jonathan Allen. He's going to play for the year five, too. No, hey, no, no, no. The no, no, laws of physics, Doug. And, and, and you, hey, Doug. And here's the one thing we know about Popovich. Popovich has shown you two things. 
He going to let him play his game. And another thing we know about Pop, he going to feed that boy the rock. He the number one overall pick. Pop has let, has let you know already in preseason, I'm going to let him play his game, and we're going to feed this boy. That boy going to average. Now, chill. Everybody was in here talking about before, and I got y'all on tape. Y'all was t- struggling to say he was going to average 20 in this rookie year. Facts. He going to be putting up, he gonna be putting up 27, 28 a game from what I've seen. I didn't think of less than 21. It ain't, oh, hold, hold, hold on. It ain't, hold on. It ain't crazy, it ain't crazy when you basket hanging. It ain't crazy when you doing the stuff Domo said he can do. If, if, he, if, if all he going to do is contest on the perimeter, basket hang, he going to get 10 to 12 easy points no, every actually, single game. And I, think 22, I, I think 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. I'm going to lie. 22. That doesn't sound like KD in year five if you got 10 points of leaking out. No, no, no. I'm saying no, no. I'm saying but add that on add that on Mars with the with the moves he has. The, 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 and here's the thing y'all discounting. Can't nobody block his shot. <laughs> we don't know that yet. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. I will agree with Ticket on that. I will agree. Yeah, nobody gets to it. Oh, no, Damo. You're not going to block your shot when he actually gets to his release one, but you can get it on the way up. You can get it on the way up. That's extremely difficult, though. But I saw, but I saw, I saw Wimby. I saw Wimby get a left hand dunk in the middle of the lane, and Thomas Bryant is looking over at the coach like, what the hell am I supposed to be doing? What the hell am I supposed to do with that? That was a bad player for example. Can we at least, and ticket, I I have no reason to not be on the same clip that you're on for Wimby. I love the young players. I ride for a lot of these young players. Can we at least wait for Wimby to play the better defenders in the I don't need to wait. Or put okay, don't wait. Oh, okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, for me, no, first, 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 the better defensive bigs, the better players. If he's doing that against them with ease, take it. I am what do they need to do? Hold on, okay. let me ask you a question. Damo, Damo, let me ask you a question. What can the better defenders in the league do against Wemby? What? I think what? a guy like I think. Well, hold, hold, I, hold, 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 hold on, I'm gonna say this right now. Hold on. They don't let you be physical no more. They're gonna call foul. When Wemby runs, when Wemby goes down. And puts his hand up. He's ten feet tall. Who the hell is gonna stop that entry pass? <laughs> I think Giannis and Eddie gonna give us. Some no, it's not. I, I think they're definitely. Hold on, come on. Giannis size. is six ten. Hold on, I'm gonna say this again to you. Hold on. Giannis is six ten. Wimby is seven four. I so hear you. So he has five hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Ricky Tan. Come, I give you a basketball lesson. The worst <laughs> thing, the only way, the only way you're what you're saying that they they can do is is front him, and that's the last mm-hmm. thing you want to do with Wimby because if you front him. Are you seeing how all this is go to ball? Throw the ball to the rim. Basket. That's it. He's Just dunking everything. With his length, every, hold on. Everything around the basket is a go-go gadget dunk. He got the go-go go gadget the arms where he's sticking them out, and they just coming out of nowhere, and he's catching it and dunking it around the basket. Bro, listen. A coach always told me, one of my greatest coaches ever, he said, you can't mm-hmm. teach size, bro. Mm-hmm. Bro, this dude got size, skills, and athleticism, bro. And he's smart. Listen. They will put him in different situations with Giannis and these guys. They will put him in pick and rolls and things like that where he will pop, dive, and when he dives and they throw it up, they're going to throw it up to where can't nobody else get it except for him. And he's the only one that's going to be able to get it. And that's the unique part about him is he can finish anywhere. So when I ask Damo, what can the other defenders do if they push up on him? All he's going to do is, is catch it, fade, Buckets, they can't block his shot. I see him, him not be able to do that exact same thing on Kai fucking Jones. So uh, all I'm saying is the same way, the same way he's went over and just dunked on Thomas. Oh, not, Kai, wait, no, 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 stop, stop. I'll let you talk. Lie, he's he's gonna gonna the way, the same way, the same way I seen him just dunk over Thomas Bryant is the same way I seen him struggle with Kai Jones. He's so again, he I mean. need that. Again, that's summer league. So if you're telling me he's making it look easier, but he looks again, better now. He looks better Bryant, now. Okay, I don't know how much better he could have got in a couple months, but I, I'm not saying he's bad. All I'm saying is when he gets to playing the better defenders in the league, I understand he's seven four. One, I don't know when Giannis shrunk because I could have sworn for the past couple seven years foot. he was seven foot, but no, now no, he's no, six ten because Wimby's in the league. So now Wimby is taking niggas. No, no, this no, is no. crazy. But anyway. I, I feel like personally, Giannis, a seven footer, 
with extreme long arms as well, who can move as fluently, at, just as Wimby in some cases. I don't, and he is extremely stronger. Y'all can play the, y'all can play the. Oh, they're just gonna put him at the line. Oh, they, oh, he's gonna foul guys out. You can say that if you want. If How is Giannis a seven footer? He's not taller than Hakeem. Cut you it out, can man. Say that if you want, but my guy, I'm telling you. Some of these guys are going to give this man problems. We're gonna have to speak. We're gonna speak fast, Damo. But Damo, but Damo, the thing Dama, is, hold a ticket, ticket. I do want to say this ticket because the thing, the thing that doesn't make sense. I don't agree. I don't agree with the twenty-seven and twenty-eight thing. But the ticket's point. The ticket's point. The ticket's point. Six eleven. Six eleven. Six eleven. Seven foot one eight. Hakeem six eleven. Hakeem six eleven. Hey man, every every every. Hakeem six eleven. Okay, no, no. Giannis is not taller than Hakeem. How the hell is he seven feet tall? That's fine. That's fine. But. But to, to Damo keeps bringing up defenders. There's 82 games in the season. He's not going to be playing like defenders those whole 82 games. No, it's not. Not. It, it doesn't does. matter like that. Hey, you, that's why playing. you don't want the good defenders. Are you telling me in this season they maniacally scheduled the the Spurs to where they don't play back to back competitive it's games? And they don't have games, a stretch. Of, I thought of, like I understand 15 it's games, games though. and it's not like every team has a good defensive center that I'm talking about. I get that. All I'm saying is if a guy is going to average. 27 28 his rookie yeah, year crazy. that nigga gotta dominate well, the to, best to, players to take so point who, the best players to, there are definitely guys to take in the league point. who are just there to defend to take his point who who can who can really who can really guard uh, uh nobody the way he is nobody like, can on, guard him. nobody does no, yeah, no yeah. one can no, guard when he, when he gets into his shot you're, when he gets actually into his you're not oh. gonna stop it the, the aim to stop, they're not going to put bigs on Wemby. They're going to be too slow. They're going to target the ball when he puts it on the ground. It's a very simple formula. I'm not saying they're going to stop him. I'm saying this is what they're going to do. If they play the Timberwolves, it's not going to be Rudy Gobert guarding him. It's going to be Jaden McDaniels. They're going to put wings on him. So when he puts the ball on the ground, I, like anyone who plays basketball, low man wins. Less less left, left they are going to target the ball low when he puts it on the ground. And they're going to try and stop him from getting into his shot. If Wemby gets into his shot, he wins the matchup, regardless if he makes or misses, because you're not really going to throw off his shot. If he gets yeah. into his shot, Wemby won that engagement. But they are going to target the ball down low when he puts it on the ground and stop him from getting where he wants to on the floor and question, stop him Lord? from putting the ball on the ground. That's going to be the plan of action. Now, whether can or not it works, we have to see. I have to watch the app, I have to watch the first play, I have to see what's going on. But that's yeah, what they're going said, to do. It's easier said than done, it's easier it's said than done especially when Wemby turns his back to them. Like I said, I have to see how it no, no, works. Can I ask you a question, Mars? But that's what they're going to do. And I'm saying I'm saying it's easier said than done, Mars. Can I ask you a question, Mars? Yeah, I'm agreeing. I'm saying I have to see it. Mars, hold on, Mars. Here's my question to you. My question to you is this, Mars. So if that is a problem, let's say Chilltown, Wemby's coming down, he's trying to dribble, and okay, like Dom said, okay, he got a great defender on him. He can't get the dribble off. We don't think that Pop's going to put him in other positions where he can just catch, turn, and shoot. That's why I said we're going to have to see. Like I, that's why. I, no, that's, that's what I'm asking Domo. you. That's what I'm yeah, asking you. This is why I'm with Domo. It's a wait and see type thing. We have to see how this actually plays out. Okay, so but do I you believe, believe I believe if Wemby can't put the ball on the ground, they're going to put him in different spots. They're going to put him in the pick and roll so they could just get easy shots at the rim. They might even put him in the post, even though I don't think that's a great idea because I think you could push him off his spots. But they're going to you put him in different situations where he can still score and be effective. I'm just saying right now, my belief. Is that's how they're going to target him defensively? That's how they're going to go at him. But, you know what I'm saying? But do you wins, believe he big. has a capability from what you've seen right now? Do you believe he has a capability to average 27 points his rookie year? No. If they force feed him the ball, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a chill. A chill. I'm not chill. 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 No, no. Hey, no, chill. You're going to hell. I know why you're saying that. You and you and and, and, and um oh it's it's it's, 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 it's a LeBron thing. thing it's a LeBron thing. Ticket, he's gonna have it. Ticket, why make a bet? I pay my bets. We'll make a bet. I pay my bets. Average less than twenty two. But you're gonna say, hold on, hold on. Let me let me get this straight. Hold on, let me get this straight. So you're you're telling you and Chilltown are telling the whole world right now that you don't think he has the capability. To average, so he's not capable of averaging around twenty-seven his rookie year. Uh, okay, wait. You, you give him, you give him twenty-five shots a game. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Jalen. Hold on, Jalen. Let let let's 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 get ticket back. Let, let's get ticket back on on track here. Number one, to say that he does things as easy as a fifth-year Kevin Durant, that is just not true. He doesn't even understand the pro game yet. That's, That's number lie. one. He's that is not a lie. He, he does, does not he understand does. the NBA pro game yet. He's killing he him does already. Not. He does not understand the pro game He's yet. He's killing that's him already, Jill. What are you talking about? That, that, that's number one. Number you two. Two people without understanding what you're doing. 
Right. And, and the reason why you can do that, mm -hmm. you know yeah. why you can do that ticket? Patrick because Mahomes. I'm just bigger, faster, and stronger than you. I don't, I don't, that don't mean I know what I'm doing out here. I'm just bigger, faster, and stronger than you. That's number one. Number two. So he don't know he's going to. I, I, I mean, he I, said to him his own mouth. No, no, no. I'm asking Chill Town. Hold on. Mark, That's what I'm going to be honest. Hold on. I want to be honest with Chill. <laughs> Chill Town. Because you've been getting away with a whole lot of cap. Bro, you're going to sit up here and tell everybody that this man that got more moves than Mike right now, the spin move, the reverse pivots, the footwork, the fadeaway. Do you see the footwork, dog? Do you see the footwork, dog? It's not slow. No, it's cool. Do you see it's cool. that? I think it's really slow. I think if was out there, he would have been locked up a little more. Hold on. LeBron made him look good. I asked you, Sniffer. I'm talking to Chill Town. Because Chill Town ain't going to lie about this. I'm not. Me and you and I are in you and I are in agreement. You see this footwork, Chill? His skill set, right? You talking about you talking about his skill set offensively when he walks in the door. That part I'm not going to argue. I will not argue that. However, ticket, you just said 27 a game. That means on a Tuesday. I'm not done. That means on a Tuesday, I'm 27. That means on a on a on a on a Friday when I feel good, I might be 34, 35. That means on a great night when I got some sleep and I ate. I can probably give you 40, but on a Tuesday, pencil me in for 27. Let me ask you a question. Pencil me in for 27. Can I just say this? I'm having a difficult time. Who's the other star that's going to stop him from getting the ball, Chill? Who's a chill town? Kevin Bissell could have added four points. Kevin Bissell could have added four points to Victor. Kevin Bissell could have added four points to Victor. Hold on, Jalen. Hold on. Kevin Bissell could have added four points to Victor. Hold on, Jalen. Hold on. The way you was hating on Jalen Bissell, now you're about to. I want you to think about one thing. Chill I'm town, listening. I want you to think I'm about listening. one thing. I want I'm you to think about because because we're dealing with a coach that if Wimby gets to cooking at any point in time in the he's game, gonna turn him loose. 100%. He's going to him every he's gonna, single he's gonna, possession. He's going to turn him loose. That's Absolutely. the one thing I love about Pop. Pop yep, ain't finna call a different loose. play for somebody else. If Wimby goes and hits three in a row, he's yep. going to get the ball ten straight times. Chill town. Yeah. Chill. Right. He's going to get now, easy buckets in transition. Now, he's going to get he's going to get three pointers on the pick and pop. Chill town. He's going to get he's going to get free throws. He's yeah. he hit those. So mm -hmm. he has a let, let's just say Chill Town. He gives you here's how I get the 27 with Wimby a night. I'm listening. He mm -hmm. gives you five free throws a game. You can put that in the books right now. That's five. So that's five points right there, right? Yes. Let's say he hits one three a game. That's eight right there, right? Yes. That's just one three a game. That's eight points right there, right? Let's say he gets six points in transition. How many points is that right there, Chill Town? 14. That's 14. 14. Okay, Chill Town. Mm -hmm. Let's say he gets Six points off post ups. How many is that right there? Six. 20. Okay, so that's what, let me, but, but, but keep going, keep going, ticket, keep going. That's twenty. Keep going, keep going, ticket. Keep going, ticket. That's what he's using. I got one more. Keep going, ticket. That's twenty. Right, and then everything else in between, he gives you six, seven more points. That's twenty seven right there. What are the what are the everything? What are the ever, what is the other in between stuff? Are we talking about like putbacks and yeah, stickbacks and loose balls stuff like that? Stickbacks, dirty work stuff. Hold on. Right, Trish, dirty work stuff. Buckies, face up, right. face up, mid range jump shots, a little right. bull jab like that. Everything right. in between. Okay. Uh, which, is I, anybody is anybody willing to put a wager onto this? I yes, am. I am, I and am. I pay my bets. Let's do it. Let's right, so do it. So what's the wager? Yeah, what is the wager? What's the over under? What's the last? What's the over under? Hey, 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 Doug. Hey, Doug. Who they play on opening night, Doug? Uh, I'll check it right now for you. I mean, what's the sample size or whatever? I'm talking about the season. I'm calling them for y'all right now, opening night. Who they play hmm. opening night? Got the Mavs? Dallas Mavs. Oh, they play the Mavs? That's easy oh, word. We know. Okay. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Opening night, chill. He going 30. 30? He going 30. It's the night. Mavs, though. They got no oh, he's one. Oh, he's leading the league in scoring. scoring. So he'll probably lead the league in scoring. Let's do a season on that. Opening night, he going 30. Jalen? We, we already got chill. We already got to do this. Hold up. Hold up. The Mavs are going to have Rashawn Holmes and Derek Lively on him. He very well might go with that. Hold on. I don't think he's going to be in season one. Take it. What do you think is happening with season one? Under 25 or over 25 for the season? I got him under 25. You want to put him over? Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to say it to you again. Yeah. He's going to be over 25. Let's mark in a thousand then. Mark in a thousand. Hold on. You heard what he just said. Jalen, hold on. Hold on. Jalen, Jalen. I'm going to defeat you with your own logic. <laughs> no, hey, ticket. No, we're not defeating anybody with any on it. He said he got to put an ass on it. No, 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 no. Because watch this, chill. Didn't listening. LeBron didn't LeBron average 20 his rookie season in the NBA? 20, 21 a game. Wasn't that a slower pace game than what yep, it is today? Yep. 
Mm -hmm. And didn't LeBron James have more or less skills than what Wimby had? He was just mainly getting to the basket, getting to the free throw line. Yeah, but he was also twice the athlete. I didn't ask you that. I didn't ask you that, boy. He was sucking on more people than Wimby. So why didn't we just make the bat? Yeah, yeah, I'm already Wait, wait, let him go down his soul. Let him go down his soul. Go ahead, ticket. I'm already making sure if you're please, into Mark, anti please, Mark, let him go down it. Please, anyways, like I let said, him go. So, so my bet is that he averages 25 and up. Yours is well, like under. Yeah, we got a thousand for the season. Let's go lock it in. It's locked in. Hey, Kyle's good, right? Hey, Kyle, good. Jalen, I'm going to say, Jalen, I'm going to say something to you. And just why y'all don't understand nothing about basketball. Bro, when you look at Victor Wimbanyama, what Donald said at the beginning, what Chilltown said, Mm -hmm. the easy points he's going to get yep. just because on most possessions he's contesting a three-point or a long jumper and then he's leaking out when he's leaking out if they get the rebound most of those times they're throwing it up court to him and he's finishing at the basket euro step whatever yeah, he's true. doing they just throw that up too he yeah. he's throwing it up and, and listen hey, hold on hold on hold on so you can talk about those easy points then the points that he's going to get the free throw line to be a big man he's going to be around an 80 to 85 percent 82 percent free throw shooter so that means I'm going to get five free throws a game from him. Then you're not thinking about the buckets he's going to get just off the jab, Stephanie. Bro, he went 10 or 15 the other night and missed all his threes and stuff for one, bro. I just hope these jab steps are working against somebody's team. Oh, I, I got one thing. Hold on, wait. I got one thing. I got one thing. Hold on, wait. He's not beating anyone off the dribble. I got one great. I got one thing. He's not beating that on the terms of the best. I got you. SB. SB, SB, say this last point, and then we're going to move on no, to another topic no, and remind everyone. My one thing is, because I know some crazy is going to happen, what is the terms if he get hurt? Which I'll bet. Because y'all be Oh, yeah. The, if he gets hurt. We need to have everything ironed out. 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 If he gets hurt and Jalen is the barring injury. Contract, barring injuries. It's yeah, the contract. It's the contract. How many games does Wemby need to play for this bet to stand? Yeah, just how many Oh, 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 Omar, 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 Omar. Oh, so we so we have a good sample size? I'm yeah. cool we'll with 50 games. First, I'm cool we'll with say, 50 we'll say if he get if he gets hurt before the first 30 games of the season, the bet's off. Okay. Oh, he's going to get hurt before the first game. Okay, so he plays. Hold on, hold on. I ain't talking about no little one game, two games. Okay, I'm talking about no. major injury. No, we have a major no major injury. injuries ticket. We don't have yeah, any yeah, major so injuries. We need to define major uh, injuries. Uh, yeah, does, yeah, does he miss we got, seven we got games? The amount does he miss 20 no, games? No, 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 no. We need everything sorted. Anything over eight games is a major injury. Okay. Okay. Well, what about season long games played? He has to play, let's say, at least 50 games. <laughs> so, if he misses, games. so if he misses, I say 40, 40 so if he misses, so if he gets an ankle sprain and sits like more than eight games. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm saying, listen, okay, okay, we'll put a we'll put a game limit on it. Yeah, yeah put a game 40, limit. 40, 40, I think 40 40 40 40 40 40 40 40 we're saying 55, we're saying 55 games. That's a good one. That's a good one. I want to walk back real quick. Hey, chill town. I'm gonna take his money. Like yeah, I take these other dudes. It's gonna be so sweet when I got that and, thousand and, 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 and I might, one more shallow, I might fly two. I might fly two to collect. I might fly two. One, one more, more shallow and got no who, heart. Who, and everybody get good Who wins the bet if Wemby averages twenty five point zero? I do because he said he's gonna average lower than twenty five. I said he's gonna average. You said he's gonna average more than twenty five. I said he's averaging low. Listen, Mars. Hold on, Mars. That's see Mars. That's where you get the bet. All right, so let's get to the bottom of this, Mars. Hold on, 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 Mars. Yes, 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 yes. Episode 169 of the panel. Write it down. Write it down. Right now. 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 Right He's a bust in my opinion, for based off what we saying about him. Mm. Hold on, and this one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, chill. Hold on. This one. I'm, I'm saying. This one. I'm, I'm saying. To you. Because based off what we're seeing, based off his skill set, based off the ability for him to put the ball in the basket, and the way the NBA is played right now. You call a bust. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I'm gonna tell y'all why I got something in my favor. More players were averaging or was putting up 30 point games last year than any point in time I think in NBA history. Yeah. You had dudes mm -hmm. that was coming out the woodworks getting 30, 40, 50 point games. I think you had six guys this year, ticket. I think you had six yeah. guys this year averaging 30 games. Yeah, average 20 for a month. When he yeah. oh, hold on, hold on. So, what I'm saying is this it's he ain't got nobody in this. Hold on. He don't got no. This is one thing people don't understand. 
He ain't got nobody in his way over there, San Antonio. He don't got no co-star. Hold on. He don't got no co-star. He don't have nobody. They're gonna Popovich is gonna feed him. He's probably gonna get from 16, 15 to, to 20 shots a game his rookie mm-hmm. season over there. And guess what I like about Wimby? He puts it up. He shot five threes the other night. He shot how many threes he shot the first game, Mars? Probably about Four, what? Four. Yeah, he's gonna so he's gonna put them three balls up. And he was playing limited time because it was a preseason. I just want to say too. Am I the one that hold on, hold on, Ricky Tan. Hold on, Ricky Tan. Hold on, Ricky Tan. So, what do you think? I'm going Detective James Carter when he gets to the regular season. Uh, more, um, uh, excuse me, Jalen. When he mm-hmm. and Jalen, you know who you look like, man. You look Ricky like Tan. You like a dusty ass Jim Jones right there. That's who you look like. Jim Jones. I got me Jim Jones. You like Jim Jones right now. I'm definitely prettier than Jim Jones. Let's go. I'm definitely more handsome than Jim Jones. Yeah. Hey. So, anyway, like I said to you, though. Hey. Hey. The bet is on, and he and That's Chill Town. Awesome. When he gets those numbers, Chill Town, I don't hear no excuses, bro. Because I don't want to hear about oh, he got the numbers, he got he got them this way. No, I don't care how he get them. The he last rookie to average twenty eight a game or more that was Jay in 1984-85. No rookie has done that since. Nobody, no, no rookie has done Chill that. Since the league, the league is at a similar pace to what it was back then. Right, he's saying he's no the greatest ever, uh, Chill Town. They saying he's the greatest ever. If you're the greatest ever, Chill Town, <laughs> and, and listen, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna prove to y'all. Watch the tape. All you have to do is watch the tape, bro. Bro, this dude was doing stuff Katie and wasn't doing coming in the league. Chill Town, he was hitting fade threes, falling out of bounds. I'm on record he ticket. Really- I think he. I'm. I'm on record ticket. He routes Samson with a better handle and a jump shot. Come on, That's bro. Who he is. Come I'm on, on record saying. Down. I'm, I'm on record. He's the future. This is what the NBA is going to look like in 10, 15 years. And Fluent said to me, yo, it's not going to be a bunch of seven footers born in the next 10 or 15 years. No. What's going to happen is, is that these 6'10 to 7'3 guys, that's what they're going to have to do with yep. their games. That's yep. what they're going to have to do. Just like the long ball revolutionized the game. That's what this dude is going to do. So these six foot, six ten to seven foot three guys that you see running around in the league, they're going to have to advance their game. They're going to have to be better with the ball. They're going to have to shoot the long. They're going to have to do all of this stuff because Wimby, and Wimby is the future of basketball. This is what the league is going to look like in the next 10 to 15 years. I'm on record saying that. I'm not on the fence about that. I think he's going to be fantastic. Uh, hey, you got but, a bunch of dudes doing, doing that. That's the best do way of basketball. I, but, I will, but I will tell you this, though, Doug, because, because he's – because Ticket talked about Wimby being on the block getting six points. Well, just so we clear, I mean, I think KP down in Boston, I think he was third in the league in, in post scoring. I think he averaged three points a game. So he's going to double that as an 18-year-old, which, by the way, all rookies hit the wall. All of them do. So with them hitting the wall, we're talking he about an 18-year-old kid. We're talking about an 18-year-old kid who every night I'm expecting 25 or more from him. Every he night, your average nah. rookie, bro. Y'all, why y'all keep saying it? Y'all keep acting like this dude is out of the stratosphere, man. He ain't no normal chill town. He ain't something that you ever seen on planet Earth before. He is That's what alien. I'm saying. He is an alien. Hold on, chill town. He got, he got, got, he got an alien. He, 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 he got an alien. Like, like he, he, he this much. He this much bigger than everybody. Like yes, it's, you it's, have it's, never it's seen him like everybody else. What's y'all, man? So I'm glad. I'm glad. Sad, man. I'm glad y'all said that. Let me read hey, off some super uh, chats, and that'll be uh, a good picture. I can understand if segment. it was a bunch of Wimby just running around here. It ain't none. <laughs> Got gotcha, you. I brother. think he's slow with the ball. And when he and, 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 and Doug, and you make sure all these suckers on open gym, y'all show too, you and Marshall, you make sure all of them put some res- respect on my name when I'm right about this too, because I've been right about mm-hmm. everything else I've been saying to these clowns. And I've been yeah, right. You, about you was wrong about the rebounds and yeah. the three point shooting. What was yeah. I wrong about? You de- the, definitely the rebounds. Wrong about like you said, like definitely. you said, I was right about that. So. Oh, you and said you, you were definitely wrong about what? the rebounds. About the rebounds. <laughs> hey, bro, and you on. definitely yeah. wrong. Yeah. And you yeah. definitely yeah. wrong about him being. Yeah. You definitely yeah. wrong about him. Just my opinion. Even 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 if that's true, you definitely wrong about him. You definitely wrong about the game coming as easy to him as a rook as it did Kevin Durant in year five. Yeah, that's no way, ticket. He's wild as hell for that. Hey, hey, chill. Are you need to go hell for that. You need to go I, 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 don't, I don't have a problem with Ticket saying everything he's saying. I have a problem with him saying if he's wrong, Wemby's now a bust. That no, I'm saying, no, no, no. He's not Mars. Here's That's what I'm his saying. Expectation. I know why he's saying that. The reason why, why he's a bust, the reason why he's a bust, because they're saying he's the greatest prospect ever. That's why he's saying it. That's, That's why. why. If you the greatest prospect, I mean, he has to average 27 to prove it right. No, no. Not the first year. But I'm saying, if you're the greatest prospect ever, something we've never seen, 
Chill Town, you looking at a dude that's seven four. When we he first came on the scene, chill, and came to the states and played those two games, everybody was like, "What in the hell is this? Where did this come from?" You understand what I'm saying? And Mars know this. It don't look the same in Euroleague because the rules are different. But now when you come to the NBA, y'all keep talking about he ain't ready for the pro game. He's already been playing the pro game at a more condensed. The defense that he been seeing, he had no space to operate. Now he's going to have all the space in the world to operate. Roy, it's going to get real scary for y'all, Chill Town. I'm telling you. Real quick, before, real, real quick before real quick before we move on, though. Exactly if, team of floor spacing, but. Yeah, that's I what I was about to say. Real, 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 real quick before we move real quick before we move on, though. Mars, if if Wimby is 27 a game, let's say 11 rebounds, two and a half blocks. Three how blocks. good are the San Antonio? How good is San Antonio? They are play in team. With 27 they have play in team. Wait, 27, no, 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 11, sure. and two. Is that 27, 11, and almost three blocks a game. How good they're, is San Antonio? They're, they're the worst team in the league. They're, they're they still, still at the bottom. Of, they, they still at the bottom of the league. They don't have nobody okay. else. Here. They need okay. another guy. They don't have another. He needs a co-star. He needs another guy because I one thing I noticed about Wimby Chill, he's he's a great player. Right. But he's still like when I say that he played like KD in his fifth year. I'm not talking about the empty. Uh, no, empty. I know what you're talking about, Ticket. How I'm easy it was for KD to get to where he needed to get yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He under. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like when you when we say that, nah, he need another guy. And now in three or four years, he'll understand how to put his impact as far as to winning in the NBA. But as far as him being able to get whatever he want, bro, he's going to be a bucket machine, bro. A bucket machine, bro. It's going to be insane watching this. And if he if he ever, in the name of Mars, get that three-point shot down, if he get it going this year, it's <laughs> over to town. If he start hitting those three, if he start he going 35 from the three, it's He's over. going to do that. It's over. He's- it's I'm not. Cool. I'm not. I'm not. And, and I know we got to move on, Dub. But mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not wrapped up in this season. I'm not. Victor like Wembanyama is the future of pro basketball. I'm on record, and I'll say it one more time for the people in the cheap seats. Victor Wembanyama is the future of pro basketball. This is what the game is going to look like in the next ten to fifteen years. A bunch of six foot ten to seven foot three, ridiculously skilled, jump shooting, finishing around the basket. Ball players. Now, what imagine y'all, hold on. imagine what y'all saying six three is too small to be in the league. That's gonna be crazy. Hold on, six, seven. Seven. You gotta be you know six seven. You got to be six seven or higher. To- you know <laughs> I'm back, bro. Hey, hey, hey Damo. I love now, what that, y'all man. did do is y'all glazed another man who I disagree with y'all on, who I don't think is gonna be everything that y'all saying he was, and that is Chet. Now he look all right right now, but I, he ain't shit. He ain't no Wimby. He's hey, hold that for me. Him. Hold that for me, Ticket, because actually that's going to get – into that actually is going to be a part of our next segment. If I want to read off some Super Chats before uh, we get into that. Uh, indoor Voices, put some respect on my PG Scoot takeover. For what? Nice. <laughs> for what? Brandon uh, Miller better. DJ, Iman, Imani looking comfortable oh. out there. Oh, stop right there. Stop it. Stay right there. Mars, what's up, baby? <laughs> Mars, you right <laughs> hey, 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 Town. I told you now, Chill Town. When I, when me and Ron was saying this, all these dudes was running a candy ass mouth. Now I need the same energy, Mars. The okay, same. Okay, Mars. okay, cool, cool. Yeah, so let's no, talk. Let's talk. No, so no, when so Chuck when, when Chuck plays well in preseason, Mars, you're not moved. When Wemby plays well in preseason, he's gonna be the good. When Omani plays well in preseason, I'm now wrong. No, 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 Why no, are you no, picking no, and choosing no, when preseason means something? I ain't no, no, I ain't hold on, Mars. I ain't picking and choosing. I'm just saying. Keep the same energy with Chuck. Keep the same energy with Chuck. The first step was Summer League. You and Damo and all y'all shot that shit down. Who don't mean nothing, ticket? It's Summer League. That's what Damo told me. Because I remember I was in the grocery store. I was in the grocery store when he said it. So I remember. I remember exactly what I was doing. I was in the grocery store when he said it. And you was in here co signing them too. And then it went from there to, oh, well, yeah, he's going to be on a two way deal. And we're going to see, okay, now we're in the preseason. He is on a two way deal. Bowling! What's y'all excuse now? Okay, so let, 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 let's go through this. Let's go through this. Everything that I've said about Armani Bates to this point. I said he would be a bottom 10 pick of the NBA draft. You said he would go in the first round. That's true. Guess who was right? Guess, guess who was right? Me. I said he would be on the G League and be on a two-way contract. You said he'd be Correct. on the full team. Guess who's been right? Me. I said he's not going to be right in the G League. He's on a two-way two deal. It's literally his contract. No, I said that's what he would be. He's going to be in the NBA, though. He's a two-way two contract way. means he has to be in the G. Unless they by sign definition. him for the rest of the year. Let, They're going to sign him for the Unless they pick him up, yes. Yeah. As of right yeah. now, guess who's right? As of right now, guess who's right? 
Mm. Oh, you captain. So I'm, 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 I'm too. I'm too. You going to hell, boy? No, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Let's go through this. But you let's know they're going to sign him this. to a full year deal, Marsh. Okay. okay. And then when they do, I'll be wrong, that. and you you'll don't. be right. As you don't today, let you kill stop this goddamn line, man. Come when on. they do, when they do, you will be right, and I will be wrong. As of right now, I am wrong. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, Damo. You, Mars, Dub, all y'all gonna sit up in here. SB and all of y'all, Ricky Tan, all y'all gonna sit up in here and say right now with a straight face, you don't think that Imani Bates gonna get signed for the rest of the season? See, that's a, I'm I mean, gonna ask you a question. No, yes no? I was still I, talking and you cut me off to ask your question. That's not how this works. I'm gonna finish what I was saying, then you can go ask your question to everyone. So, as of right now, I am two and no. If they do pick him up for the rest of the season and they take him off a two way, you will be right and I will be wrong. But as of today's date, which is the 16th of October when we're recording this. I am right, and you are wrong. I said, if he tries to be like a shot creator like he was in college and high school, he will not last in the NBA. We are yet to see what he will be in the NBA because he's still in the preseason. And as of now, I said he's an elite shooter and he can provide value shooting the ball like Duncan Robinson. If he buys into that role, he can have an NBA career. That's what I said. We will have to wait and see what he tries to do in the NBA if he tries to be the shot creator like he was in college. If he tries to be ISOing people, playing like a baby Kevin Durant, I don't think he will be in the NBA for very long. If he buys into being an off-ball catch-and-shoot Duncan Robinson type, I think he can have an NBA career. That's, so that's all a I've said. See. The that's only predictions I've made that have been that have we've seen the outcome of was the draft and so far the two-way contracts. So far, I've been right about the two situations which we can actually see the outcome of. I'm right and you haven't been right. The everything else is we have to wait and see down the line. And if I'm wrong and he starts shot creating at an NBA level and actually does become a great scorer in the league, I will 1,000% say I'm wrong. But we have to wait till that time comes. Well, I'm not saying I'm 1,000%. You, so so you said Imani was trash. What's your thoughts on what you see I said so Imani Bates is not an NBA level player in terms of shot creation, in terms of creating for himself, in terms of playmaking, being an offensive weapon. I said the only thing I believe he does at an NBA level is shoot the basketball. I still believe that to be the case. If I am wrong about Omani Bates and his overall well-rounded game, I will 1,000% say I'm wrong. What I am saying is, the only things we can actually see the correct answer to, I've been right about both of them. Everything else is a wait and see type deal. And if if I'm wrong about the wait and see, I will say I'm wrong. Don't let Mars off the hook. He called him trash. Yes, I called him trash. I don't think he's an NBA level player. I still stand on Mars called him trash. Yeah, well, they did say that. I'm not arguing against that. I said the only thing he does at an NBA level is shoot the basketball. I still stand on my first round pick. I did say that. I was going up into the draft saying maybe the late first round of a team needs to forward pick him. And then by the time the draft came around, I'm like, nah, he's a second round pick. That's what I said. I didn't think he was a first round pick. I never called the kid trash. And even yeah. in the group chat, motherfuckers can attest. I started to walk back what I was saying before the fucking preseason. In media day, nigga took pictures. I'm like, oh my buddy got that. Oh, or. you did I might be wrong. Did I did. I had a ticket. I said, yo, ticket. I might be wrong. Buddy got that. Or I might be coming to your side. So I've been walk back what I was saying about the money before the preseason started. Okay. Well, so then my whole thing with Mars is that he's wrong then because. First of all, he said we seen Imani do some of the things he said he couldn't do already. So you wrong about that. Yeah, if he does it in the NBA, I'll say I'm wrong. No, no, I'm saying, but two, two, you in your mind, (laughs) you know that he's they're gonna sign him for the rest of the season. And And when they do, I will say I'm wrong. Okay, so that'll be another thing. That'll be that means it'll, it'll be, be one one. one. one no, it'll be one. You're not right because he's shot creating in preseason. And and then hold on, and then Mar, when he starts getting time during the regular season and put in work. And, and actually, then I would say I'm wrong. Thing. Yeah, you can see. Hold on, Mars. Let, let's just be let, let, Mars. Let's just cut the shit and be honest real quick. For once, sure. for once in your life, let's be honest, Mars. Once in my life, you just you think, hold on, hold on, Mars. You got stop Mars. You got stop him. Mars. 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 You got mad at him for a little Hold on, Doug. Because I, I want to be honest with you, Mars. Do you think I'm gonna ask you a question? I want to see if you tell the truth. Do you think if Imani Bates was in a situation where a team, from based off what you've seen. If he was one of those first round picks in a team like was built or was like not built around him, but uh, he was allowed to play his game based off what you're seeing right now. Do you think that he can live up to some of the hype that he had before he got before he went over to uh, Eastern Michigan? I think he'd be one of the most inefficient players in the NBA. Oh, man. Marge, you, are you saying? I mean, but I, I also will say this. I'm basing everything off of money Bates from what I've seen in college. I'm, I'm saying, saying right now. No, I, I said based off what you've seen right I'm, now. Because I'm going to give context. I haven't watched the Cleveland Cavaliers preseason game. I haven't. 
everyone has told me I'm wrong about Armani Bates. Yeah, I haven't dumb. watched them play in the preseason. Yeah, I won. don't know what he's done. Maybe he is shot creating. I haven't watched. I don't know. What I'm saying is I have to see it in the NBA before I say I was wrong about his shot creation ability. I haven't watched it in the preseason. I don't know what he's done. Maybe for all I know, maybe every shot he's made in the preseason has been threes and layups in transition. And then I will still say I'm right. But I don't know what he's done in the preseason because I haven't taken the time to watch Cavaliers preseason games. Because to be honest, I don't care. So if I am wrong about him in the NBA and he can shot create, I will say I was wrong. The things I've 1000% said was the only thing he can do at an NBA level is shoot. He is trash. He is not an NBA player right now. Okay. I still stand on the belief that he's not an NBA player right now. Yeah. When I say he's trash, it means the same way I think James Wiseman is trash. They aren't going to be quality NBA players as of today. So I still believe that to be the case. And well, if I am wrong, I will say during the season, oh, wow, I was wrong about Armani Bates. Okay. I have no problem saying that. But as of today, I still stand on the fact that I don't think he's an NBA level player. By definition, that means well, I, think I have he's a reality trash. check for your ass then. And here sure. it is right here. A reality check for your ass is James Wiseman and Imani Bates are both better than that little punk y'all got on your team in Houston Rockets right now by the name of Dillon Brooks who getting his ass ejected in preseason games because he's all hype and all, all bark and no bite, sucker. How many, how, how, many, how, many guys, how many guys How many guys? on – this is a quick question and, and we can move on, though. How many guys right from the beginning on two-way contracts – on great, on really good teams, contributed early. He's the, he's he's the difference. He's the exception he's to the rule. He's right a, but chill time, stop. Chill time, stop this cap. And, and I'm Mr. asking Mr. a simple question. I'm, I'm, Mr. Mr. Mass, this is what I'm you, thinking Mr. about. Mass me to, Mr. Mass told me to tell you that David Robinson averaged 28 and 12. 28 and 12 is rookie year, man. Cut, so cut the cap. David Robinson came in at rookie the 29 year old rookie. David, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, a master. The only reason why Trail is different with Amani Bates is because the biggest glaring weakness in the Cavaliers uh, lineup and on that roster is their small forward. So the fact that if there was a chance for a guy to be on a two way deal in his rookie year to come in and solidify the starting spot. It would be a situation. I'm not even saying it's him. It'll be a situation like this where a team needs a small forward, and he can simply just outplay the guys in front of him. I have right. no, I have no doubt in my mind he can go out there and outplay Max Struess if it's about shooting. I have no doubt in my mind he can go out there and outplay Isaac Okoro if it's about shooting because that's what they need. Everything else will come with it, but with that team, they need their small forward to be able to hit shots, and the Monty Bates can shots. So that I think he's already the third best shooter in the team. I think he's, he's already he's the in the perfect shooter. situation to defy the yeah. odds and be the exception. Perfect situation. Mars hated on that. Mars hated on that man so bad he forgot how much he hated on. Him. And just so you know, Chicken, <laughs> I didn't hate him. I just said I. No, 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 no. That's that key part of the truth. That boy said he I, I wasn't here for the Amani Bates talk, so I don't. The only reason we. But the chat is saying that the chat is saying that Mars was hated. And just so you guys know, the whole reason the whole argument started because I had to hear that he was gonna maybe. Mars, it's okay. Why are you so upset? I ain't lying about anything, but just so just so we clear. If I have so, to just hear so, just so be clear. Be a first round pick, and I know he's not going to be a first round pick, I'm going to be passionate about the fact he's not going to be a first round pick because I know what I'm talking about. And like I said, he's not an NBA level player to me. The only thing he does at an NBA level is shoot, in which I said wrong when so I was far, hating You're on wrong. him. When I said when I said when I was hating on him, he's an elite shooter. I literally said that. You can find it. I said he's I an elite like shooter. The term. That's the only I, thing I he like does. That's the only thing he does at an NBA level. I said he doesn't create separation mm -hmm. very well. His handle isn't very good. I was I was harping on his wingspan, which I've now found out is not negative. It's about neutral. So I was wrong about that. There's one thing I was wrong about. It's now a neutral wingspan, not negative. So my bad. I said he doesn't get to the rim. I said he's not very athletic. I said his defense isn't good. Although in summer league, his defense was kind of moving me. He it was solid too. Solid so so maybe I was wrong about the defense. Sure. But everything I said about him being trash is on the same premise of what I said about James Wiseman being trash. If I don't think you can contribute on an NBA level to the success of your team, I think you are a trash Is NBA. Brooks trash? Same thing I but Mars, you just say oh, he should have been. Sure. But Mars, you just literally say he should have been. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's contributing with his jump shot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Ask me, ask me, hold on one second. Is Dylan Brooks trash? Sure, Dylan Brooks is trash. No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you a real question. I said sure. I said sure. I answered your question. Are you happy? Yeah. You want me to go back and use the rocket player? No. Write that shit down, Doug. They write that you want him to go defend the Houston Rockets player for no reason. Hey, like. chill, chill. They're going to keep the same energy they have about Dillon Brooks. 
And just so we clear, and just so we clear, took it. David Robinson as a rookie did not average twenty eight. In fact, he only averaged twenty eight one time in his career. And that was the year he led the league in scoring. That's it. And that was in year six in your break. But Mars, but to the point, I, I guess I watched the long. summer league Cavaliers. I didn't watch the preseason. But Cavaliers Mars, you said if he's trash because he cannot contribute. But then the next breath, you say he can shoot at the NBA level. His jump shooting ability is contributing to the team. So that okay, answers so your let, point. Let's explain. Let's explain something. Oh you can God. bring a positive. Go, go no, ahead. This no, fault, no, no, this is your fault. I was just, I was just reading no. super chat. I want to hear you. Let Dougie do something. Something about this. Got, got got you something, no, dog. Listen, got your man about, out here on the island, I'm and you let him drown. Who, Mars? Mars? You yes. talking about Mars? No, Mars is not my man, Chota. You know this. So what are we talking about? I'm not on an island. I'm answering a question. Armani Bates can shoot at NBA level. He brings impact doing that. My belief is everything else he does badly makes him an overall negative on the floor. He's still a negative. He doesn't bring NBA level impact overall. He can have an NBA level skill, which is shooting, but overall everything make him a detriment on the floor, which is what I believe will be the case. And if it's not the case because his defense steps up or all of a sudden he becomes a better playmaker or he's able to create for himself more or get to the rim, whatever the case may be, I will then say, oh, wow, I'm wrong. He's actually an NBA level player. Until I see that happen in the NBA, I'm still the one who's been right about Armani Bates so far. But so far, you've been wrong because he has been contributing to everything. He has not been a negative. In the preseason. I'm just saying, so far, he has not been a negative. I ain't saying he's been a leader. Yeah, he hasn't been a negative. 1,000%. He hasn't been a negative. Sure. So you're wrong. Don't worry. I said in the NBA, not the NBA summit. What, 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 what the NBA. But, you're, but you're not. Nobody's writing this scenario because we have a single player. Stop what I said. Stop what I said. You ain't right, though. You ain't right, though. But you can't. You know, it's how everything I say, Dub says five Damo, minutes later, fault, he made Damo, the revelation. You want to walk us down this rabbit hole, Damo. I yeah. no, boss, the boss, one boss, 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 Grizzlies. Now I was watching. Um, I was watching Sunday Sunday games, and you know it was a bad Sunday for me. So I'd rather not reminisce. I've seen a lot of highlights though. Bam out about Tyler Hero did uh, uh do they think so? Shout out to them. Uh, yo Damo, ask Omar if it's. Bro, you put this up like five times. You was going Damo. Bro, Damo. <laughs> I wasn't reading it. Oh, 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 hold on, Dom. Well, Damo, is it pink or brown? Yo, wow, yo. <laughs> I have no, I have no way of knowing. I have, I have no way of knowing. Why, why did you ask that question, hey, hey, man, what the hell is going on with Blueface Mom out here, man? Come in. Oh, that's yeah, another thing. Is. Look, nah, that's another story for uh, us today. Shake that. Nope, I'm not doing it. Whoa. Rebounding issue overblown. He's playing 20 minutes from L.A. No, so, it's not, because it's been on that. The issue yeah. been that way. So that, that's a lot of right so the game that the, the, the game that he played, he, he played 19 minutes. What do you have? Four rebounds. So in 40 minutes, that's eight. No, that's not true, Chill Town. He just, I mean, if you look at him all across the board, he always like his up and down on the rebounds is not consistent. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a consistent nine, ten rebounds a game. I'm talking about the fact that he's playing 40 minutes, which he's not gonna do. He's gonna play like 31, 32, I think, closer to that. I, I think the rebounding thing with Wimby is getting a bit nitpicky <laughs> in terms of trying to find a flaw in this game huh? because it's not. If that's what Co if that's what Coach Pop wants to do with it, looks like that's what he wants to do because he hasn't played at the four and the three. And if Coach Pop is not worried about him rebounding right now because he's a rookie that likes to run in transition and move like a gazelle, what are we sitting here harping on his rebounding for? The, unless we have this team with aspirations to win a championship, what the fuck are we talking about rebounding? Like let's just let let Vic play basketball. Just let him play ball. Yeah, let it on, man. I agree. Dude, I just that's, part of, that's a part of the game, Damo. And, and you, it is and a part Dama. of the game, and that's why you have other you guys in the court to do that job. You, that's why you, Zach Collins is going to rebound. That's why Jeremy Sochan is going to rebound. That's why those guys are going to rebound. Because I know you can get buckets. You better than Bob, but will you do that rebounded? You better than Bob. It's crazy. If I need it, Bob. Yeah, yeah. No, Damo's better than Bob. I actually seen him make a layup, so he's better than Bob. <laughs> but anyway, like, like I was saying, but Damo, was you a rebounder? Uh, <laughs> to you. So then, why? So then, hold hold the mother cats accountable too. Then, but I'm, exactly. If I needed to, I would. But for the most part, hey man, give it to me. I'm the grower Jokic, nigga. Flinging it, nigga. I'm getting assists. <laughs> 
I'm getting the ball. Move the ball up the court. Let's Wait, go. Jokic? You want Nick Roll or Jokic? Yes, he did say that. Hey, I thought I heard it too, but I'm Nick Roll. He did say that. Yes, he did it. Nick Roll and Jokic with the rock. Hey, Ben, give me your eye. Hey, my bad. Y'all gonna get big. Y'all gonna get big ox out of the salon chair over there, looking like Whoopi. He gonna come in here and say, "What you say to?" Yeah, my bad. Luca was more skilled and more and much more accomplished from Andre. I mean, he been playing since definitely like, more accomplished. Oh, at thirteen, like yeah, yeah, yeah he had more time. Andre with another one. Euro League and Spanish League champ and MVP. Euro champ with Slovenia. Now show me Wemby's accolades. LOL. He's not better prospect than Luca. Yeah, he's talking about champ. skill. He we really talking about skill. Yeah, he's literally talking about skill. Y'all trying to bring him back. Not only did he win the French League MVP, if I'm not mistaken, weren't they in the championship and they lost? Yeah, they lost to Monaco, I believe. Yeah, they, they were in the championship and they lost. So did he get outplayed by anyone on the other team? He wasn't great against Monaco. Just, just though Luca, but Monaco is a, Luka, Monica Luka is is a, a Hall of Fame team. already. Oh, okay. Which I, some would say, oh well, Luca was the best player in the Euro League, which he was, which is why I mean, Luca, Luca got enough accolades in the Euro League to be oh, a Hall of Fame before uh, he played in the NBA. Hey, he's already. Hey, Doug, I gotta tell you, Doug. Now, Doug, I'm gonna cook your sorry ass. I'm glad you weren't here, Doug. I forgot about oh, this. Oh my god! Here we go. Uh, uh, I had to go. I forgot about this, chill. Now remember how much Doug was glazing. Good old Dame Dollar for uh mm -hmm. when he thought he was going to the Miami Heat and I told him that Dame wasn't gonna be the difference. Now watching that game last night, shoot watching Dame shoot all those bricks again, like I said, I don't think dub that you gonna, you know, you I don't I think we're gonna see this year that Drew Holiday losing him may have been major because mm -hmm. with, with Dame, it's gonna be up and down season this year, boy. Uh, I think that since it's Dame shooting three for ten in the preseason. I think they will be. I think they will be fine, but I don't think they'll be able to make it out the East because I think Boston's a better team. Bro, I've never seen a preseason so tough. Though, yeah, so, yeah. no, not the Sixers. Not the no, no, no. I'm saying, but are you convinced now that maybe that was a good thing that, that Miami didn't get him? Um, like I told, I told Chilton and everyone that this trade is going to prove a lot, and prove rather if. The scenario was really why Dame wasn't what we wasn't what he could have been in the postseason, or this is just who he's really been. So I just gotta wait and see. And if he does, if he does fold out in the playoffs, then the world was right and I was wrong. Bro, I'm tired of y'all getting Pat Riley a pass, bro. Ain't nobody talking about how you oh put no God. talent. What the hell? Oh. They made the finals in and they made the finals you, in the bubble. I am he tired ain't put of nobody you. on this team. Give me a and y'all know break if, this he else, if, he, if he was anybody else, if he was anybody else, y'all would be you. Y'all be young feeling the big That's being right though. We haven't held it. How about the accountable? So let me make sure I'm understanding you. Let me let me make sure I'm understanding you rules correctly. What rules I'm understanding? Let me make them, let me make sure I'm understanding you dudes correctly. So this team, after Dwayne Wade was gone, was built around Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler. And in the last five years, they've no. been to the NBA. Tyler Johnson ticket. That's how bad it was, actually. Mm. It was Tyler like Johnson, yeah, yeah, Bam, yeah. and Hassan. Well, and and so, and so, and so, and chill. This is by your rules, though. So chill. This is by your The reason why we get on you, chill, is because this by your rules. Because and, and chill, this is what I'm going to say to you, and, I'm, and you – and and especially this little Ricky Tan beside me that Josh snaps stiff LeBron James every day. I agree if, with if, the power. If, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> if this was LeBron James, mm -hmm. you guys would destroy, Pat destroy Riley. the management for yes. not putting up around them for, with this type of team. He, he he made made finals, you can't that's, why that. wrong, that's why I agree with SB. That's why I agree with SB. You're not holding that to the same standards, chill, when it's they Jimmy have. Butler. But because oh, nice. you're saying, oh, he's getting to the final, chill. Exactly. Well, well, guess what, chill? Guess what? Mm -hmm. They didn't put no other talent to help them get over the hump. Meanwhile, all the other teams getting better. So that's the problem. The problem is you didn't make no moves and you lost guys. So that's what SB is saying. You lost starters. You mm -hmm. lost guys. And you didn't do nothing else to bring any other experienced guys in to help Jimmy when you see him getting to this point. Oh, he ran into a brick wall once he get to a certain point, him and Bam. Bro, so, so you have to take it. And this is what they're gonna say, though, dog. This is what they're gonna say, oh well, we made it to the finals. We shocked, but we ain't we ain't talented enough to win and, in the finals. Hold Why on, hold on. have the management done to add one. No, that's real. That's me. That's what you point right. came out that right. said they rather have Tyler Hero than Brantley Bill. And y'all let that pass. Let the yeah. Let hey, wait, you right. You right. I've been on record. I've been on record. I've been on record saying if you get Jimmy Hall, they could have won. Damo, let's go. I'll be talking about Damo when when I be saying that yo, you only tell half the story and when you only tell half the story you only get half the truth so okay. you're talking about
passing on Bradley Bill. Just so you know, Pat Riley. That's one. Uh, I'm not done. Pat Riley went to management and tried to sell management Bradley Bill. The problem was he didn't want to pay the luxury tax. He didn't want to do that. So this isn't 2K, SB. We not, or this isn't we're at the park. I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to take this guy. That's not the way this works. That's mm -hmm. number one. Number two, we get Bam out of Bayou in a draft. Bam out of Bayou turns into a 20-a-game guy, almost a 10-rebound guy, and an all-league defender. You got Jimmy Butler, who is an all-NBA performer and an all-league defender. You get these other guys, undrafted, Gabe Vincent, Max Struess. Uh, you get Tyler Hero in the middle of the first round, the best rotation player in the game who wins the sixth man of the year, if I'm not mistaken. You get that kind of stuff on your roster. You get a resurrected, you get a resurrected, who am I thinking about? Um, what is what, what is Ticket call him? Duty Booty. That dude. You get a resurrected Kyle Lowry. You get a Kyle resurrected, Lowry. you get a resurrected uh, Kyle Lowry on the crew. Now, sometimes <laughs> things are just not good enough. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean from a talent standpoint, this team has been to the NBA championship. Add that mm -hmm. all up to the fact that if I'm not mistaken, you are the one sitting here telling me about the Phoenix Suns, whose roster has been completely flipped, completely flipped. Mm -hmm. And now they're going to win the NBA championship. You tell me what team did that in the last 25 years. Go ahead. I'm listening. The, the team that just flipped the Lakers literally just did that and flipped their roster right around and just won. Then and you had whoa, 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 whoa. one the Lakers, the Lakers, the Lakers. In the Western Conference Finals. They, they just smoke. won in 2020, and that's when they flipped their roster. Nah, I'm about to say in 2020 we flipped our roster. We, we, we sold flipped, they literally flipped their roster. They flipped the whole entire roster. Flipped the roster. Yeah, that's true. They, they okay, so flipped so the roster not, really not too long ago. Damn. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, was what when in 1920 was LeBron James on that team? Not 1920. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Damo Rewind. In 1819, was LeBron James on that team? Yes. Yes. Was Kyle Kuzma on that team? Yes. Yes. He was on that team. So let's think about the other guys. Like, so we we like who? Rondo we, and KCP? Was Rondo no. was KCP on the team? Yet? No, no, Rondo, Rondo, Rondo was on the 2019 Lakers. They literally um, almost got KCP and KCP no. was on. They got rid of everybody. Okay. They literally got rid of almost everyone else. But I, I, they, I don't, was Caruso was Caruso on the crew? Caruso, 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 Alex Caruso, 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 Caruso was on the LeBron James and Reeves Vets. Rookie LeBron James was on that crew. Alex Caruso was on that crew. Kuzma was on that crew. Rondo was on that crew. Is that if I'm not mistaken? If if I'm if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Rondo and KCP. 1819. Yep. Right, so that, I'm yeah, to and KCP, yeah, that might have been. And JaVale JaVale McGee was on that team, wasn't he? JaVale McGee, no, yes. no, they JaVale. Added, JaVale. They added, no, they added, they added JaVale, they added JaVale, they added, they added JaVale. JaVale McGee, and they added Dwight Howe. Wow, they, they added both of them. They added JaVale, 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 JaVale McGee. Are y'all sure? Because in that, I thought JaVale McGee was in 1819. He was that for me, team. We had JaVale, Lance Stevenson, and I want to say like two other guys that Michael Beasley, Michael Beasley, yeah, 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 they did have Beasley. We had the mean team off the bench, so yeah, Dwight Howard wasn't there until 2020, yeah, Dwight Howard until 2020. So we're talking about, we talking, all right, and we're talking about a Phoenix Suns team which was just in the NBA championship, if I'm not mistaken, Mars. Three years ago, they were in NBA championship in 2021. Devin Booker is the only dude that's on that roster that was on that team. He's the only one. I'm, I'm but now glad, we're talking about a Miami enough. Heat. We're talking about a Miami Heat team that was mm -hmm. built from the bottom. After Dwayne Wade left, you got Bam Adebayo in the, in, okay. in the middle of the first round. You got Tyler Hero in the middle of the first round. You got Jimmy Butler in free agency. You got undrafted Gabe Vincent. You got undrafted Max Struess. All of these guys that you got mm -hmm. – and you still ended up in the NBA championship twice in four years mm -hmm. in the Eastern Conference Championship. If I'm not mistaken, when you lost to Boston, they had the best record in the they had the best record in the Eastern Conference. They were the number one seed. Now, the fact that you want to add all of these other pieces in terms of talent, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna win. And no, and, and, and add not. all of that up to the fact that add all of that up to the fact that you're gonna talk about Pat Riley like he has not delivered you. Bentleys and 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 S and S five fifty. That's the problem. And Rolls see? Royce. That's the he's problem. He built right you there. that for years. Not only has he built you that for years, over these last five years, he's built the team that has been a championship contender. Because they haven't won it. Now we're talking about a guy who needs to be fired. 
I'm good. No, bro. I didn't say I'm it's sure. about a guy to be fired. I'm saying you give him a sure. pass because the first thing you brought up was, oh, Pat Bradley's give us Bentley all the time. You know what? That's a 1995 Bentley and the engine missing on it, but you look at the logo and think he gives Which one is? Price. What, 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 because what, what, you complain what, about the luxury missing? tax, right? Hold on, wait. You complain about the luxury tax, right? Because they overpaid for Duncan Robinson and they overvalued Tyler Hero. This is not just a Dame Lillard and a Bradley Bill thing. You literally just said to the fact of that the Phoenix Suns just made the final years ago. They realized they wasn't good enough. They flipped the whole roster. Only person left from that team is Devin Booker. When you How's see that, that you got them? a guy in Jimmy How's that Butler? going for them? How's that going for them? They, they, they well, we don't know yet. We don't, we don't know, know yet, but they're one of the best teams in the league and possibly could they've win got, the They've game. actually gone back. The they've the actually gone back. The OG, though, the, the heat from the, the bubble heat and the heat that just made it here, I can't even tell you which team is really better. If not, they might be on the same level. What could be even worse? The Heat really got hot and made a run. Everybody in here did not have the Heat make it to the finals. Dub is the biggest Heat but fan up there. And, and when they, they made the, the – no, he didn't. You can but right around did, the episode. But listen, we can rewind the episode. When Dub – when they found out they beat us and Dub had to play Milwaukee, he said, well, it was a good season. We getting done. Nobody believed. They made a run and they got hot. That does not exclude the fact that this roster was trash. You had multiple undrafted players. Oh, they overvalued their position. If anybody else was doing this, and you can tell me from you made the finals two, three years ago, and you made it again and the roster has not approved, they will be questioning your job. At the end of the day, you got to star Jimmy Butler, and you're wasting his years by not improving the team. The team has not improved. They have been on a steady Waste line like this, and, every, and everybody else has been going up. That's it. But the annoying part about what, all this what, is like you're what, not you're acting as if Pat Riley's not having meetings, trying to get players over there. Literally, it, they no, they they, they there's, there's tons good, of there's man. tons of reports to say that the Portland Trailblazers, the main thing, they just did not want to deal with Miami. And why did they not want to deal with Miami? Because they because they because they literally was like, This is the only team I want to be, and it got they Portland upset because the students were not we're not gonna sit here and deal with that. They could have worked out a deal, but they were upset because Dame tried to leverage them the way in which he did, which is why. That is not an indictment on Pat Riley. That's an indictment on Damian Lillard and the actions which he took. You're trying to cook a man for things that's outside of his control. It doesn't it's make not sense. Just, that's and, that's and what Chill Town and, and what Chill Town and what Chill Town saying, what Chill Town saying about uh um there's more things that goes into it Bill. than just grabbing players and amassing players, bro. You got contracts and money issues that they need to work around. They've been trying to get players for years now, but people haven't been trying to deal with them. I mean, what do you want to? What do you want Miami to do? What you want Pat? And Ryan on top of what you just said, they've been trying to get players for years, and teams don't want to deal with them. And in the process of them doing that. How have the Miami Heat been doing, though, if I'm not they're mistaken? They've still been going to the finals. Like, they're What still are we doing games. right here? What are we talking about? It because like of who? The and because of who? Add that to the fact that if you – let's take let, let's, let's, let's take what Miami did up the table. If you got a guy who's solid in the regular season, who's actually really good in the regular season, and his game goes up, and then he's running around with an all-league defender who's a 20-10 and 10 guy, would you take your chances with that in the playoffs? I mean, you had no choice. Yeah. And if you didn't have a choice and that team went to the NBA Finals twice in four years, that's every other year we're in the NBA Finals, mm -hmm. and dropping the number one seed, are you still saying, yo, you ain't putting enough talent around these guys? You need to be in question. Are you still saying that? Yes, because the fact that when you get to the next level of the finals, you clearly see the difference of talents in the team. They get obliterated every time they made the finals. Obliterated. They got hot every time. Every time that he made the finals, they was literally on the, they literally was playing and shooting at an elite they, level. They, 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 they lost to the, they, they lost to the, they got obliterated or did Bam Adebayo and Goran Dragic get hurt? <clears throat> they not they only that they lost they, they lost no, they in six games they got hurt. They got and, hurt. and answer this question for me who are, who is the miami heat putting on that crew last season that that series is more competitive because they're not beating denver who are they putting on that crew I think, more they, I think if they had a player, well, even the, like thing is, Ingram, the thing is, the thing is, you had like, you had guys, yeah, you had guys like yeah. Kyrie and KD that was available. But the thing is, the package that the Nets got for those guys, we can't give them what those what they got for but them. So y'all don't get no valuable role players either to get trade value. Y'all how the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. What? 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 How can how can we say in one sentence Miami make all these unknown people quality guys and now say they have no quality guys? Then you have which one, which one, one, is, one is it? It can't Matt be two, Struz it can't be both Matt, ways. Matt Struess and uh, what's the other guy? The game Gabe Vincent got their value during the playoff run, they have no value during the season at all. How can you say that they didn't have any value tell, during the season? They were the, not, not this season. Tyler Hero got hurt, and our role players stepped up That's tremendously the only because of because of Pat Tyler Riley. Hero. The only what? person I had value, the trade value, was Tyler Hero. That's it. So, Who so Caleb Martin had no trade value, is what you're saying, even though. Even though the Miami Heat the are on record right? saying that they were not really 
They would have done it, but they weren't interested in giving up Caleb Martin because Portland asked for Caleb Martin, but he don't have no trade value. That's after the playoff run, OG. At least so when were they the trying to get Dame? Before or after the playoff run? Mid-season? After the playoff run. So <laughs> right. I just, hold on, hold on. They were trying. <laughs> they were trying to get Dame this yeah. offseason. They were trying to get Dame this so offseason. So when the players have value, right? So when now. the players have value. I literally said they got their value after the playoff run. So when the players had value, they tried to get Dame and it still wasn't enough, right? So what was talking They was gone. So SP, SP just saying he could... I'm, what, what, I'm trying to, what, what, what I'm trying to make sure. He's close to the deal of getting another star player. He hasn't been able to get another star player to that's help it, Jimmy Butler. They, look, he's they, 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 they try to go off one situation. It's been years of... What do you mean one situation? situation? They were in the Eastern Conference Championship. They, the Jimmy Jimmy they haven't got nothing. They got Jimmy Butler. They, they they got Jimmy Butler in free agency. They That's drafted right. Bam Adebayo in the middle of the first round. They got a twenty and ten guy in the middle of the first round. How often does that happen? That doesn't. They got the best rotation player in the game in Tyler Hero, arguably in the middle of the first round. How often does that happen? That doesn't happen very often. And they got gems who were undrafted in guys like Duncan Robinson, in guys like Gabe Vincent and Max Struess. Now I'm not a big Max Struess fan. I'm not a big Max Truce fan, but the fact that these guys went as far as they went with the, as far as they went, that was largely due not just to Jimmy Butler and Bam, but to the rest of those guys too, who came up big. Caleb Martin, who basically Charlotte just dumped him for a bucket of extra crispy and a six pack. Now all of a sudden, he's he's getting to now all of a sudden they're telling the they're telling the Portland Trailblazers, we're really not interested in giving him up for oh. Damian Lillard. OG, I got one question, right? After the after the Heat uh, made the finals. One. Last one. This is my last question. We let go. After the Heat made the finals, right? After the bubble. From that point on the finals, tell me the three three big players they signed or three key players that they signed. I don't they didn't have to. They were building that unit. Those guys were all young players. And, and it, it was working. It, and it was Pat it was Riley. Working. Why you get a pass about that? And it's Pat Riley. It was working. My point. It was working. You can't, you can't tell me three good pieces that they added. If I asked who the Milwaukee Buck added on their team the last couple of years, you could easily tell me. You you about to I'm, glad you, I, I'm glad you I'm glad you brought Milwaukee up. Semifinals, bounce, goodbye. First round nope. last season, bounce, goodbye. Asked. Meanwhile, the Miami Heat, add? when they were building their unit with the guys who that they, they have, the pieces Eastern that they Conference add. Championship, the team, NBA Finals. And since the, since the bubble, tell me the, tell me three key pieces, players that the Bucks added to their team. You, you, this this whole it's thing is Drew about Holiday star and power. Drew Holiday. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's about star power. It's, it's, it's about star power, power. Yeah. which you doesn't a, always a equal win. I'm not. It's not. It's not going to work. Pat, Pat Riley has done a great job drafting some gems, um, signing guys, getting the most out of guys like Max Schultz, Gabe Vitz, or Caleb Martin. We understand it 100%. But it comes to these key guys like the Donovan Mitchells, like a Damian Lillard, um, like kind of other stuff. Let's say right. Brandon Ingram, players of those Kyrie. caliber. He struck out Kyrie. He has struck out and missed out consistently. And his brand has it he was struck out because he had a not, not had enough to offer. The like, hands what, are tied. The man has nothing to work what, with. What the Jazz got the Jazz got the Jazz got the Jazz got the Jazz the Jazz got the the Jazz Got for Donovan Mitchell. Explain how Pat Riley was meant to get. Thank you. Explain. Mm. That's but insane. He missed. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and tell me how he's magically meant to make five draw picks arrive. Go ahead and tell me how he's magically wait, meant who, to go so who, who make, was the trade? Make, who was, who make was the trade all these picks, wait, make wait, all no. these young prospects just magically who, appear who was, who, in the Miami. And, 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 and by the way, and just so you know, Larry Markkinen, the most improved player, also most improved player, Larry Markkinen was a young player. Larry Markkinen was a young player with potential. They traded, they traded Agbaji, who was a lottery pick in that draft, and they traded like four picks. Explain how Miami's meant to give that up. They could have easily did that. What? Tyler Hero, Tyler Hero, Larry Markkinen didn't have the same value that he did leaving the Cavaliers. He was injury prone, all he had potential. He was not the same Larry Markkinen that you see with the Utah Jazz. Tell me how many, tell me how many, tell me how many picks Miami have. Tell me how many picks Miami have and the value of them. Who they? Should, they what, how many picks do they have? You tell me, since you know what Pat Riley should have done. You tell me. No, you tell me. I must be wrong, Nick. You're the one who's something. telling me. He what what, 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 you what, what, what trades have he done that he don't have? That you he don't, don't even, have even know what picks they have, but here you are saying Pat Riley give up picks. You don't even know what he has. You're just telling him to so do stuff, and he don't even have the he don't even have the pieces. You're telling like him to give up like, like, like so this. Like, 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 like this. You don't even give up four picks. He doesn't have four picks. Like Pat Riley is just turning down Kyrie Irving. Like he's just going, nah, we don't want Kevin Durant. Nope, I'm good on, on Damian Lillard. Nope, I'm going to pass on Bradley Bill. Like he's just doing that. No, Kyrie, he's not Kyrie doing was, that. Uh, Kyrie was a free agent, though. Kyrie was a free agent, though. He could have got him in, talked to him, and tried to sign it, but he wasn't able to close the deal. For whatever reason, 
Duh, because, because, it could have been, because, because, been the cap. Because, because, the cap the cap him a because Dallas, Dallas was – because if you're looking at Kyrie Irving's scenario, he's with the Dallas Mavericks next to Luka Doncic for the, probably for a, a good portion of the later part of his career, and it gave him a crazy bag for that. Like, of course, that's I mean, a, that's a great – could have given him a bag too. But that's, that's the best – but that's, the best, in, effect, that's the best scenario for Kyrie Irving if I'm looking at it from his it perspective. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I'm saying that Kyrie – doesn't way. fit the Miami Heat culture. Now you're saying hey, he should have gone. Y'all said that. I don't know who said that. Happens. I don't know who said that. What happens that. when he and, and what happens when that. he makes this big move? Which, by the way, he's making this big move for them to win the NBA championship. They and what is Kyrie Irving showing us over the last they still five, got six years? Round picks, so they had the picks to trade. They you, still you, got do picks understand, now. you do understand. It don't matter what the pick is. Still a first. It's still a first round pick. You do understand the rules. You do understand the rules when it comes to trading draft picks, right? You understand them? Yeah. You can't trade so many years back to back. It got to be split between. Years, yes, okay. I, know. I understand that. So explain how Miami's picks would be more valuable than picks no. I'm just ever. saying that they have picks right, like they have no picks, they have done so, nothing. You, like I said, you how just, can they give a better package than y'all, 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 y'all are putting the cape on for Pat Riley, giving him passes with any other GM, they'd be questioning them. That's it, y'all. Only Why would I question someone Pat for Riley. not having enough to get the That's pieces that, that you're telling them to get? The funny thing is, he, he didn't that, have a better package than Cleveland to get Donovan Mitchell. That's I, what it you is. know what the funny he thing is? He didn't have enough to get Kevin Durant. The he reverse is actually happening. That point he just said is the reverse. Because he is Pat Riley, because he's this guy that's proven himself so much, y'all want him to keep doing it. While there's tons of GMs that's not doing shit. Garbage. But y'all sit here and don't even Garbage. pay attention. To that. It's, because, it's, because he's Pat, it's because he's Pat Riley that y'all put him yeah. in a hot seat. Don't give me this nonsense that coaches he's that GM in don't. In There's even a bunch though, of trash even GMs that's not even doing though, anything. Dub, even, even, though, not even though you can't right name five GMs in the game better than Pat Riley today. You can't do it. They it, don't even name five GMs. It's all. It's also because it's also because Jimmy Butler elevated to such a level in these playoffs and was able to take his team and beat better teams. That once he got to the finals, you see the talent disparity. It's like, damn! If they got him a secondary piece as a star, they have a real chance of winning. The elevation okay, that so Jimmy what, Butler was what able piece to could they have got? So I'm saying a, a player of the caliber of kind of like a Brandon Ingram, even a Chris Middleton type, Drew Holiday, just a player like that. Like Kyle Lowry, they it's tried. I'll give credit, it didn't work out. Kyle OG Lowry was supposed to be that guy, good. it didn't work out. Okay, yeah, just so, tell me, like so tell me how those the big players Saturday got Kyle Lowry. And look, Mark, I understand your point. Maybe they didn't have the pieces or the money to get it. I understand that. But with Pat Riley, he's always been a guy. When they created the Miami Heat Big Three with LeBron, Dwayne Wade, Bosch, no one thought it could happen. He made it happen. And I so guess what so because Pat Riley happen. has done the seemingly impossible before, it's That's now it against is. him that he can't make no, impossible so, things happen now. No, his reputation not, and brand is doing that. That's the Pat Riley brand. I, so now that he can't, now that he can't make the impossible happen, he's no longer good. That's what. No, which actually Mark? Which actually Mark? You're no longer a top fifteen player because you're no longer by far the best. You Well, wait a minute, Mark. In saying that the impossible, and and to say that the he can't make the impossible happen, he was in the NBA. His team was in the NBA Finals with three undrafted guys, three of them. And that shout out in a middle of the first in a middle in a middle first round pick, a middle first round pick. I'm sorry, two middle first round picks and a coach, by the way, who he got in the video room. This is what Pat Riley's been doing. That's, and that's not a problem doing, to you. Man. Chat wants us to move on. Why is it a problem? problem. <laughs> that's not a problem. Because what happens when he's he what happens? Out of nothing for 15 what years, happens when he empties and now he that can't make something out of nothing? He's the problem. Not only that, Moss, what happens when he gets KD? When he has to empty the bench or he has they to give up his star in players the and they don't win it? What happens when he they empties don't. it and they get Kyrie and they get bounced in the second round? Then what? We're gonna we're gonna applaud him for trying. Meanwhile, yes. what he's doing, it's working. It's just you need a lot to go your way. And we're talking about winning an NBA championship. You need a lot to go your way. But the fact that he's built this unit the way he's built it, and it's been working, they just have not gotten lucky enough in the NBA finals. Mm -hmm. And let's not forget, and let's not forget. And let's 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 not forget, let's not forget in 2022 as well. We went to game seven with Boston with Hero being hurt. Larry only playing five games, and also Jimmy Butler being hurt, getting hurt in that series as well. And we still was able to take a team to seven games one despite shot. all of that. One shot from one shot away. Back Jimmy, one shot away. Definitely from had him. a shot against Golden State. Yes, we could. Yeah, 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 yes, by the way, FB the same Jimmy, the same Jimmy Butler who Pat Riley signed in free agency and plucked away from the from the Philadelphia 76ers. That Pat Riley. 
for the record, Miami Heat have six of their never six of their next seven first round draft picks. So they had the draft picks to get some. They always yeah, had the draft capital. He's he's low ball. He low ball every deal. But y'all don't say yeah, nothing. So they have the picks. All I'm because you y'all try to make it seem about one situation. I'm just saying if anybody team would have did what they did and they had the the void of talent that this Miami Heat roster said y'all would be questioning him. But since it's Pat Riley, y'all giving him a pass. That's all I'm saying. That's it. No, because no, that's not the case. The, I guarantee. I, this is maybe it's not you people. The only owners or GMs who get called out for anything is Pat Riley and Mark Cuban because that's the only two people know. And Daryl Morey now. Every, that's fair. That's and fair. James yeah. Dolan that's on the Knicks. Sure. Yeah, yeah. No who isn't even a GM? The He's the owner GM is. He's the owner. So no one mentions anything about them because right. no one cares about them because no one knows them. It's only mm-hmm. those four: James Dolan, Daryl Morey, Mark Cuban, and Pat Riley because they're the and only ones people actually know the name of, so they get blamed. That's, and and, and a jury. When he owned the Hornets. And a jury. Yeah, that's the side jury gets up hate now, but side jury definitely gets Yeah, that's so the ones that are actually yeah. known by name are the okay. only ones who get a blame for anything. Y'all so cooking, y'all try to cook Pat Riley because we know his name. Yeah. Y'all try to cook Pat Miley more, Pat Riley more than, who's the general manager for the uh, Brooklyn Nets? I forget his name. The one who used to play, he used to play for OKC, the white guy, Sean Marks. Sean Marks. So Sean y'all, Marks. Y'all, y'all try to cook Pat Riley more than they Sean Marks. Him. Who they cooked up. them too. They I did, but you're cooking. You're cooking Pat Riley more than a guy who fu- who messed who messed up the scenario with the Brooklyn Nets. That's fair. And they had real championship mm. aspirations. Yeah, they that cooked them for that. And now they're in a rebuilding phase. But you're they cooking them for that. We hold we hold Pat Riley to a higher. You're standard. cooking. You're cooking they Pat hold, Riley hard. And, 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 and why did and, and Jalen? Why is Pat Riley held to a higher standard, Jalen? Because he's had a track. He's had a track record of success. Yeah, he's had a track record of success for sure. And 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 because of his track record of because of his track record of success. How has that been going lately? How have the Miami Heat been doing? Look, they have performed they, they, exceptionally well. They've now, your logic, because if they lose, they lose. Of the four, 100%. They, I get they, that they, they, logic. They, they I get good. that. But, sure, we can also understand that you give Jimmy just another piece, not even an all-star caliber player, just kind of maybe a fringe type who maybe could. One hundred percent. Tyler Hero. Yeah. What Tyler Hero wasn't wasn't healthy, and That's, you know, they still went to the NBA. Healthy give you nothing in two years. Yeah, training them. Both right, times in the finals, they dealt with injuries. But yeah, move on. We're going in circles. We're, 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 yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to get on to the next one. It's male. I'm pretty sure I pronounced it correctly. Member for six months. Appreciate you, Welcome brother. Welcome to the show, brother. It's male with a super chat as well. If Wemby averaging 27 to 28 through the first 10 games, the whole panel needs to pull up in Wemby jerseys. Easy. Shoot, I might have to send ticket the money early if that's happening. <laughs> I'm not doing anything the 10 games. <laughs> uh, can't put AD on him. You lose rim protection. From LA, that's uh for the uh, Wemby conversations. Man, that 19 6 and 4 gonna hit like crack. I'm thinking 18 and 8. That's what I got. I got that's what I'm 22. That, that, that number right there sounds about right. About 19. That, that number sounds about right. Yeah. 27. Oh, you putting a lot on it, ticket. A lot. Yeah, 27. Yeah, it's well, it's 25 now. So 25. 25 is the best. Ain't nobody putting a lot on it. I told you the truth. Guys, I like really that. hope. I hope. Sorry for Jalen's pockets, but I hope he does average over twenty five. Hey, ticket. If this dude is hey, averaging oh. twenty seven a game, I'm all in. I'm not yeah, saying kind of in. All of my chips are pushed in front of the table. If we, honestly, though, honestly though, honestly though, it's not outside the realm of possibility because we've seen a crazy jump in offense last awesome. season. So if like they're continuing that offensive stretch, a, hey, I told you hey. like the new like rookies coming up, they. 21 points a game is probably like going to be easier you to get. Rookie season? I want to say 19, but that's because he started slow. Hey, I ain't going to lie, Mark. If, if Wimby average over 25, Tiki going to come on the panel episode like Stone Cold in the 90s. And you see Vince McMahon. <laughs> I, 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 I want to see it. If we, if we do right to 25, I, 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 I think Mars will let it be. I think Mars believes it. I think he just want to see it. I think he believes that he got the because I that's why I asked y'all. I said, Do y'all think he's capable with his skill set? If he doesn't do it, he's a bust. There's no way you can tell me a dude comes in with the skills that he have and it don't translate to the game. Because he makes it look easy. Everything he does, it's not like he's struggling to get his fadeaway off. It's not like he's struggling to catch alley oop tip dunks. It's not like he's struggling to transition when he euro stepping cats and dunking that joint finishing home. Bro, listen. That dude's scary, bro. And they don't want nobody want to see nothing new and say, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? We saw LeBron. We saw this. That's how I, that's how Jalen thinks. But when I see this guy, yeah, listen, he's he's better than Jordan was coming in the league. He can shoot better than Jordan all that. I ain't going to say he's better than Jordan because Jordan had that mentality, but he can shoot better. He's got more skills. I'll mm-hmm. say it like that. 
Paolo had and, twenty. Paolo had twenty said, points a game last. Paolo year. a dog right. too. You can't oh, deny and, that he has more skills than what Jordan and all them dudes had coming in the league. Yeah, because Jordan I, couldn't shoot. Jordan mid range shot wasn't that great. His three point shooting was was not good. So I, I don't say all this. I feel like I just want to see out how Pop got a grown man it. body. You know, like the like yeah, Victor body ain't there quite yet. But He's Victor can be the body. exception too, though. Dumb, like, I, guess the I remember we were questioning Victor's love for the game a few months ago. Here we are. Because it was air. That's crazy. Bro, yeah, I'm crazy. gonna add to the bet too. Oh yeah, OG did. Uh, y'all was going in on this. Hey, see how quick he got rid of that, right? All right. Get rid quicker. If Victor. If Victor averages 25 2, you know what? I'll do a sh- I'll do a show with an Aladdin costume on too. I'm gonna just add that because why not? I, I want to see him average 25. Because if we have a rookie coming in averaging 25, I feel like you just want to dress you got like to Aladdin. you got to do the Aaron costume, but it would be Howard elite. Costume. But yeah, Jalen, I you you make him wear his LeBron James suit. That's what you should Yeah, Jalen, you probably already have the Aladdin. Can I always coming up, baby? How always coming up? Can I just ask a question real quick? Because it's something I noticed watching a lot of these rookies in the preseason. Have we had a draft class? Like this deep with defensive talent on the perimeter before, like in terms of perimeter defenders all in time. one drive class, all has time. there been one this deep on the perimeter? Because it's a, it's look like it's a, it's a decent amount of guys that are like good to great defenders as rookies. Mm-hmm. The Thompson twins, mm-hmm. Anthony Black, Bilal out in Washington, and that's just all in the what top ten. Top seven. Top. Jarris Walker and Taylor Hendricks and Casey Wallace will play defense too. And that's the rest of the top ten. That's crazy. The only one who I would say isn't a great defender in the top ten is Scoot and Brandon Miller. And they're not terrible. Yeah. They're but, not and terrible. Scoot's going to compete. I love that about Scoot. Man, He's going to compete. Scoot, hey, Dom, you ain't getting no pass for saying Miller better than uh, Scoot. So, that's crazy. So, so, so I want to I want to get into the segment now. The we'll, we'll get into the segment now. Ron put like rookie of the year predictions, but I know we're probably going to all assume Wembenyama. But Chet, you got Chet as well, but also other guys. Who are you? Some of your favorite rookies coming out? Some rookies that maybe people are too high on or not getting enough love. Who you guys think is going to have the best? Too high on school. You ain't going to be all. I think. Nah, school school might be better than a lot. Well, hold hold on, SB. Hold on, SB. Ticket. What's your issue with school? What's your problem with him? Mm -mm. I don't see it. Like he he can play, but I don't see what they're measuring him to be. I don't see it. What are they measuring him to be? All star, multiple all stars, all yeah, this other stuff. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not saying we haven't seen you 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 act like we haven't seen an athletic point guard who's no. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. I don't see it in him. I don't see. Listen, I. I don't see the it factor in him. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. I also think with him, it could be an opportunity situation in Portland because Simons, you saw what he was doing the preseason. Uh-huh. He's falling out. You got That's Jeremy Grant crazy. falling out. And it's Jordan. Jordan. We're, we're not saying we saw in his first season. No, I ain't saying no, no, but Mars, no. I'm saying, okay, Mars, if I give you an example. Yes. To me, I personally think that y'all going to clown me. I think we'll end up having a career like Eric Bledsoe. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad. Like, yeah, I, that's, I mean, that's, mini, that's, mini I mean, that's, the, that's, the, that's the floor. That's the floor. So, yeah, well, maybe Braun. No, 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 no. That's, that's the Eric Bledsoe. That's the career I think he's going to have. He's closer to Eric Bledsoe than Dwayne Wade. You can say that. Well, who gave him Dwayne Wade? Yeah. I'm just trying, yeah. I'm, I'm just confused on there. one. I, I don't care what other people are saying about Scoop. I only judge Scoop based off what I see. So it could be a plethora of people saying, oh, my God, he's the next John Morant. I don't give a damn what those people are saying because if I watch school, I know what I see in school. So holding them by the parameters of what the mass media or what other people have said, that doesn't – I don't get what's the point of doing that with these rookies or rookies in general. So with school, I do agree, Ticket. At first, I didn't see it. I definitely didn't see it at first. I, I was definitely hating because my guy Omar on the pod, he's an Atlanta guy, so he, he – he, and my camera went out. That's great. He loves right. school. Um – I didn't see it. I'm fucking muted. I, I didn't see it at all. Now, seeing how comfortable he is, and for a short guy, he still doesn't look that small this, on the court. Right? He looks, like, yeah, he looks yeah. a lot. He looks like he play a lot bigger. Hammer yeah, he looks like he play yeah. a lot. But bigger. I, and then well, the reason why I'm high on school, y'all, 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 yeah. The reason why I'm high on school, OG, because Dama, everybody you might have to and come up there he is. Oh no, no, there you go, there you go. You good? Oh, Damo, you in Chilltown? Are sold on this guy? 
I'm, I'm not sold on him yet. I'm not sold on him yet. He's, I am. He's, he's a lot more comfortable. comfortable. I was oh, hold on. A, 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 you you get your ass up. I, I ain't gotta be. I ain't gotta wait to be sold on Wimby. I, I've seen enough already. No, I'm talking about Scoop. Scoop been oh. playing against grown men. He's been in the GD playing against hey, grown men. Hey, 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 hold on. That and matters. He, and he, and he, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And he hung. And, and he guess hung. what? Hold on. Well, he did. He had bad percentages and everything, bro. Cut it out. Terrible shooter. Definitely I'll say this. Shooter. I'll say this. I'll say this. Oh, Ticket, God forbid I bring up Wimby's Depend. Am I sold on him? You was actually playing in the league where they play defense. Now put that in your am I am I sold on him being this all-star guy? No, I'm not sold on that. I am sold on him having a a, a lengthy NBA career. I am sold on him being a 15 to 18. No, I'm saying no, I'm saying he I'm don't know what you want to I am. I am hey, Damo. I'm, I'm sold on him being an all-star. I'm, I am. All-star. I'm not sold on him yet. I am. And the reason why I'm sold on this because I'm looking at how they're building that unit. Him and Anthony Simons are the few, they they are they what they they're what they were doing with Dame and CJ. When they started that thing over again, they're doing yeah, that with these two dudes. Why would they Is repeat Luka the process that didn't work? Yeah, I'm gonna say that's well, a terrible. But, but, that's just dumb. But, well, here's, here's, the his, his, do it. Oh, here's, here's the difference though. It, it, it looks it, it looks like they're starting their unit over with these two dudes, and these two these two guys are the centerpiece of what they're trying to do. And with both C, with I was about to say CJ, I'm sorry, with both Scoot and Anthony Simons, who I think is a 20 plus a game yeah, scorer, playing off. Yeah. Playing off, playing off school, who I think is going to be one of the better defending guards in the game. And even though he's even though he's not six five or six six, the fact that he competes at a high level, I think that that's going to I think that's going to take away I think that's going to take away a lot of the size that he gives up. The fact that the fact that he competes at the level that he competes, and I think that him being able to distribute like he does, I think him and Simons are going to be really good. Now he just got to show up that front court. Who's the fourth option on this team? Grant's Phil, I don't see the team being centered. I don't hold on, hold on. I don't see the team 22. being centered around him. The team is centered around Anthony Simons and the dude they just paid a hundred a hundred some million dollars, and, and also the big dude they just traded for. Eight, Those nine, are the nine, three guys nine. that are over, over him. So the team ain't even built around Phil. him. I Phil, see him. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 I'm just saying to chill. Mm-hmm. He said that he felt like they're building the team around him and Simons. That's bullshit. Excuse my French, because. They just paid Jeremy Grant all that money. Yeah, he gonna be he gonna be a main piece on that team, averaging twenty. If I'm not mistaken, then you, ticket. And Anthony okay, Simons going, is going, guy. Going. You paid Anthony Simons. That's your key guy. And then you yeah. just traded for the big dude from Phoenix, who was mm-hmm. eighteen and ten. That's your big guy. So all yeah. three of those dudes, in my opinion, are above ski already. Yeah. Go ahead. And and I'm glad you brought that up, ticket, because. Yeah, go ahead, Damo. I'm sorry. I, I was just gonna. I was just gonna ask. I just want to make a point real quick. L or when it comes to the, the the guys in the West, do we see Shea leaving the West anytime soon? No, I don't. No. Do we see? Oh, I got. Don't listen to say there's too no. many guards for yeah. Scoot to be with. Right. Keep, keep 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 going. Keep going. Luka, Shea, Luca, okay. Uh, John Morant. It's John Morant, John Morant too, Anthony, Anthony Edwards. Edwards. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's all team. That's all team shit. All team all star game. I don't think the all star game is positionless. It's back I court, front court. I, mean, yeah, back back court, court, court. Mm-hmm. I gave you five. Court. I still haven't said Jalen Green. Green. I, say, yeah, I still haven't said Devin Booker. I haven't right. said Jalen Green. That's seven. Right. Right. He might and be better than Jalen Green right now, though. Okay. Be He's humble. not. He's humble. not be better be than Jalen Green right now. So, so. But that's what I was going to say. Instead of Luka, I was going to say He's going to be an All-Star As of today, Damo? As of today, Damo? No. Like, if we're if we're talking about the All-Star team today, no. But I'm talking about later on. And Ticket just brought up the fact that they just signed Jeremy Grant. This is the same Jeremy Grant who was available, available in trade. They made that clear. He was available this summer. So I want to I, I want to keep the conversation going there. Now, a guy in school. Oh, hold on. You, for for All Star, yeah. He of still course. was available. For That's not All-Star? the point. The point that no, is the point that is that he was available. Hold now, with that being with, with with that being with that being said, when you draft in that high, the number two pick. Number and you're three. moving on from your franchise. I'm sorry, the number three pick. I'm sorry, um, Moss. When you're moving on from your franchise point guard and you're bringing in this guy, you're not bringing in this guy to be a piece. That's not happening. You're bringing in this guy to be an integral well, part of what you're doing. They did that to DeAndre Ayton. Well, that might end up being what, hap- that might end up being what happened because the of how this guy ended up being a piece. So cut the cap, chill down. Say that one more time, ticket. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't they didn't do the same thing with DeAndre Ayton. They drafted him to be a main guy. He ended up being a piece. So cut the cap. Well, that's because they. Well, he was one of the main guys. What are you talking about? He was not. He ended up being a piece. 
When they drafted really, DeAndre Ayton as the Chris number one Paul, overall pick, Chris Paul came, it, because Chris Paul right, came, Chris Paul came, Chris, CP3 over him. Then KD comes. Then okay, all, this is, all this, 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 is this is this this is we we, we you and you and I keep going back and forth with this. This happens years later, but when they drafted him with the number one overall pick, they were moving forward ticket, and they were right there at making the playoffs. They were able to add Chris Paul that next year. Which puts them over the top, even though DeAndre Ayton missed almost a quarter of the season the year before, and still averaging 18 and 10. So he was not a piece. He was an integral part of what they were doing when they got Chris Paul, and then they moved on. To, then they moved on to KD. Now you're talking about something completely different because now you're edging him out. But, but before these dudes show up, he was an integral part of what they were building, and they were building it around him and Devin Booker. That was the point. Who was disrespected more than him? I don't think anybody was disrespected more than him, to be honest with you. All right, then. So that's what I'm saying to you. All I'm saying to you, Chill, is this. He's going into a team where Simon's already – he's going to average 20. Jeremy Grant's going to average 20. Aiden's going to be looking for his 20. 18 to 20. So he ain't going to be, in my opinion, at the forefront of the scoring fronts of the team. Now, assist, maybe. But remember – Simon's gonna have the ball in his hands a lot, and guess what, Chilltown? You forgot they did not give up Malcolm Brogdon, so he's gonna get minutes too. That's gonna cut into Scoot's minutes, which is fair. But with that being said, I got a difficult time with Jeremy Grant averaging twenty, and Simon's averaging twenty, and DeAndre Ayton averaging twenty. And hold on for a second. Let let let. And then Scoot being a distributor, that again, that's the point guard that they needed. DeAndre Ayton's going to be the guy on this team offensively because he's the one with the most experience. Of all the guys that they got, he's the one with the most experience. He's the guy that has the most to offer all of them. None of these other dudes are proven. DeAndre Ayton is. And with that being said, to add a guy like Scoot, a competitor, a distributor that he is, I don't expect him to average 20 a game. I don't expect. I think Scoot could be a 13-6 and six or 13-7 and seven guy. I think he could be that. And I think that's damn good on this unit. No, no, I'm saying I agree with you, but I don't think that's what you, me, or Damo, or Mars, or Doug thought when they drafted him. He was going to end up being, and I see that for his career. I see him being around a 16 point guy, like seven, eight, seven assists. But I don't think that's going to be where what, what people thought he was going to be, which was I heard some people saying Russell Westbrook. Like, come on, man. I don't think he has the aura. I don't think he has that effect. Mm. It'd be like that sometimes. I swear. How about some other? Take. How about how about some other guys that they have in there? You know, uh, Jalen brought up Chet, uh, possibly being a rookie of the year candidate as well. Uh, how do you guys feel about that? Chet, if Chet does the same thing that Wimby does, Wimby's winning it. I think, I think Chad's off impact off on his team. I think OKC Thunder being a better team and possibly oh. being a playoff team and him contributing to that can elevate him to being rookie of the year. In terms of production, I think they'll be very similar. I think I think Wemby's going to give you about 18 and 8, and I think Chet will give you about 16 and 7. Man, you on drugs, man. You just watch Wemby get over 20 in the preseason. Now you're going to say, oh, he's going to average below 18. Okay, yeah, 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 we watched we watch Chet do that, and you don't believe in him. And, and, now, now, Mar, hold on, Mars. But the only reason why he did that, because this dude gets on his knees so much for LeBron James. He going to make sure <laughs> Wemby average <laughs> LeBron. So he knows LeBron averaged 21. So he's going to say Wemby 18. You're wait, wait, is that, is that what you're doing? Is that what you're doing? I didn't, I didn't yeah. wait about Wemby or LeBron. I'm not even talking about LeBron. Yeah. I just said Wemby. You a little punk. No, 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 no. Ain't no punk ass over you. here. We the real deal. Don't ever get that twisted. We don't know what Take it, take it. You know what it is? Devin Vassell. Devin Vassell is going to average more points and more shots. I see right I see right here what you're doing. But, hey, I'm going to say this, right? You don't think Devin Vassell would average more points? No, no, I'm going to say this. All y'all wrong about Chet, you, Damo, all y'all wrong about Chet, and I'm gonna tell you why. For one, he's not even gonna get those opportunities when SGA get to rolling, because SGA out, he gonna put up 33, 32, 33. No doubt. So after he does that, hold on. After he does that, and Giddy and them boys get theirs, Mm -hmm. how much is it gonna be left for Chet? Chet's gonna have about 15, 16. I'm cool with that. I'm saying it's crazy. Y'all disagree with that about Scoop, but then say Chet gonna go off. It's crazy to me. No, I said about No, no, no. I said when you said by points for game. That's all it's, that's, yeah, that's, that's all it is, Mars. It's buckets. They don't do nothing that's else, wait, apparently. Wait, wait, wait. They don't do nothing else. None of these dudes do nothing else. 
Obviously, yeah, I, I yeah, sure they only care about the box score, but we're talking about all these players as if oh he's not gonna do this much because he's only averaging 14. Like, so That's, you could be a great about player. No award, though, Mars. So wait, so they, no, they won't no, get Chad, an award. Chad, Chad, yeah, I, award I, I said Wemby's winning the award 14. because, 14. because 14. even if the it's stats are similar, the NBA high Wemby has the media pool, he's winning the award regardless if it's close. If it's close, Wemby wins it. If it's not so close, like it's Wemby gonna be wins like a, uh, It's going like, to be a Wemby uh, Rookie of the Year award. Like a mellow, as long as he's not a bust. As long as he's not a bust, Wemby's winning the award. I 1,000% so, believe that. So it's going to be like mm -hmm. a Melo and Anthony Edwards type thing. Where it was Lava, like close. So Melo and LeBron. I think Melo and LeBron, was, where Melo had a case, but LeBron, the hype machine, was there Mello for LeBron. Was, and I was trying to avoid the LeBron. Yeah, and, probably, I was trying to avoid the LeBron. Melo should have been Rookie of the Year. I agree with that. Carmelo probably should have been the Rookie of the Year. Obviously, the media. Oh, look at Jalen. I see that. Jalen Jalen yeah. conceding the little things so that he can push the good <laughs> propaganda. Right, right, right. Got to be smart with it. Got to be smart with it. You remember that day I agreed that Melo should have won Rookie of the Year with LeBron? Yeah, see, I told you. Why, though? Um, because, I think it should be a because if you want to go statistically, they were similar. Melo was more efficient. Melo was in the top of conference. Melo made the playoffs. They both won rookie of the month every single month. Right. It was a and better pass. And their, and their teams well. improved by similar amount of wins. Right. I think Melo's team improved by more wins because they both had 17 win teams. Melo's team won 14. James, James, get James, they improved by 15 games. And I think, I, think, Melo's I, team, I, I think Melo's team improved by more than 20. Right. But um, so all of that combined into the fact that Melo was arguably just a better player at that point. So he was more polished offensively for sure. So, yeah, you could definitely say Melo might have been better than Bron at that Maybe point. Next year, yeah. next year was a different story, though. Next year was a different yeah, story. Yeah, Dem Denver went from 17 wins in 03 to I think 40. To 40. Yeah, 40, 40. Well, I'm pretty so sure 26, that's 26 games, but Melo wasn't the only addition. Yeah, yeah okay. Was gonna, okay. Yeah, 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 Andre Andre Miller Miller was injured there, right? the year before mm -hmm. and then came back. And I think Andre Miller got on the team that year. So he wasn't mm -hmm. the only addition. Right. But Andre Miller I was good. Out that context is being looked at when they're tomorrow. Of course. So yeah. just, yeah, like, just, think, just like just like with James it. as a rookie, he was playing with Carlos Boozer. Right, so don't, don't, with that, teammates that, that hated that, him. That's, that's, that's important to mention that. He was he was playing with Carlos Boozer, who's an all-star. Should have been yeah. So that I think Melo should have won rookie year. But I, I, the, the, the winning the winning part doesn't move me at all. I mean, I, I can appreciate the the more efficient logic, Mars. I, I I can definitely get with that. But the winning part doesn't move me because I've already ran down to you in the nineties. So from nineteen ninety to nineteen ninety nine, seven of the nine rookies of the year teams did not make the playoffs. In the in 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 two thousand from two thousand to two thousand nine, I think it was six guys whose team did not make the playoffs and they won rookie of the year. Winning doesn't doesn't change your. Like, yeah, but that's because usually that's those rookie the year cases aren't particularly close, right? Right, right. and but if, it, if it's close well, and one makes the playoffs and one doesn't, well, that's the difference, though. It wasn't close. I mean, Carmelo Anthony, he had 80, I mean, James had 80 more first place votes than him. Yeah, it should have been close. That's the problem. It should have been close. Yeah, yeah. I actually, oh, yeah, it I, been I close. Gave some the only reason it wasn't close is because LeBron James was hyped up. LeBron to name was already. And I think a lot of that also, has to, I think a lot of that also, LeBron has name to was already on the award. OG, you know that. I don't really have that. to do with not be terrible. Well, with that, yeah. and with that being said, the reason why I don't think winning matters when you're talking about those guys that high draft picks, because most of the time those teams are terrible. So to make that kind of that Denver wasn't to make that kind of leap, and you just added it, Moss. The context matters. So you got a you got a nine assist game, nine assist a game guy jumping on the crew, and almost a nine assist a game guy jumping on the crew. You had one of the best rim protectors and defenders now jumping on the crew. That's a big a deal. That's a big deal. And James yeah, had Carlos. I mean, yeah, Boozer. Le LeBron. LeBron right. had an All Star in Big Z. Right. Rim protection. James, and, and, and and Carlos Boozer. And and Carlos Boozer also. So. Yeah, so and he only won thirty five games in a week East. No, yeah, 17, seventeen, seventeen, seventeen win, a, a seventeen win jump, and the Western Conference. I won't. I won't. I won't argue that the Western Conference. And the twenty six win jump in the was, West was, was much harder. I think LeBron but had a great year. I think Melo had a well, little bit the, better. A, little a bit twenty six better. jump. Uh, here's the difference, though, Miles. A twenty six jump West. This is the same team that, if I'm not mistaken, was the Junior Hill Gauss is not on the Cleveland Cavaliers last year. Was 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 um, Carlos Boozer not on the Cleveland Cavaliers the year before that? Both yeah, those guys he was on the crew. team and an All Star. Yeah. So with that being said, Marcus Camby was not on the crew. Mm -hmm. Andre Miller was not on the crew, so these two teams, when these two, when these two dudes get back together, that's completely different as opposed to them dudes. Was it them? Marcus, not Marcus, can be Carlos Boozer was on the crew last year, and he still was garbage. Like Andre yeah. Miller and and Marcus Canby, these guys are additions. In addition, so they basically have three new guys. They basically got Marcus Canby. They basically got Andre Miller and Carmelo Anthony. 
That's the same. That's the same. They Andre just Miller added was, LeBron that's James the same to what Andre they Miller already had on the Cavs a few years before, and the Cavs still weren't winning games. Now he gets added on to Denver. It's a big addition. Oh, Andre Miller was on the Cavs in like 02. They were not winning games. He now joins Denver, and now that's a big addition for why they win 26 more games. Uh, I'll, maybe I guess with Carmelo I Anthony guess. and with Marcus Camby, I, I I'd like to think that that had something. Yeah, I mean, to do. when he was leading uh, the league in assists, and the Cavs were still winning like 30 games, and then he adds on to Denver with Carmelo as a rookie, Ricky and now they're 43. I mean, it's a lot different. It's a, it's maybe, a lot, maybe Andre it's, it's, Miller it's, it's, wasn't as big of a deal as Carmelo was. Maybe I'd like, I, I'd like yeah, to think yeah, running with Ricky I, Davis is a lot that. different than running with Carmelo Anthony. Well, and, yeah, and that's why Carmelo's the rookie of the year. Yeah, because running yeah. with him is different to running with Ricky Ricky Davis, and that's why Carmelo leading I mean, the team and scoring. Jane, mm, and Jane, and Jane, me, me, meanwhile, meanwhile, James, <laughs> meanwhile, J, meanwhile, James was running with Ricky Davis, and they ended up winning seventeen more. Because again, these are the same guys on that crew. All you did was add LeBron James. And they went 17, 17 more, which games. was 35 yes. wins. I mean, I'm looking at their roster side by side. I could also argue forward. that they got a new coach. I they can make the argument that Paul Silas was impactful. Is, they can match up that that's well. So there's many things you could argue that the Cavs won more games, not just because of LeBron James. Maybe it's because you added a different coach who liked using the post with a guy who was an all-star in Big Z. Paul Silas is a much better coach than Keith Smart, I, I'd hope. I'd hope. Yes, he was. Yeah, 100%. Okay, so you, you add a much better coach. You then add LeBron James, the number one pick. You already have guys like Carlos Boozer and Big Z, who was an all-star, onto the team. Then you mm -hmm. have the best prospect of all time. You mm -hmm. win 18 more games, versus mm -hmm. you get Marcus Camby back and Andre Miller, who was already on the Cavs and they weren't winning. Mm -hmm. You add him onto Denver, they win 26 <laughs> more games in a tougher <laughs> conference. The stats are similar. Carmelo is more efficient. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he's not rookie of the year. I'm, I, I I'm not going to go that far. I don't think I don't they, think I, I, didn't, I don't expect you to. But I think, I think, I think, you, I think he's rookie of the year. Shout out to Melo, man. You, you should have won rookie of the year. You, you were wrong. Mars, all you got to do is think about this. If Braun would have did the same thing Melo did in the West, nobody could talk shit that off, that, off that ledge. Yeah, I, 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 do, I do believe <laughs> if you swap Carmelo and LeBron's rookie seasons, you would say LeBron still deserves rookie of the year. I think. Yeah. Definitely will. Because it was that I, I, I In my heart, in my heart, on my head, mm -hmm. I believe you would say LeBron still deserves a kid, yeah. But I he thought he was that he won. Year. If he was, in, if, if he did the same thing in Denver, I would have said and he, he And he would have bought, and he would have said, I would have said that. And he had it played in the tougher conference. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? And All you can't bring up the excuse of teammates scoring because he had a lot the same amount of people on his team scoring double. Mm. But the, diff the difference that y'all trying to it's, sell me is the, the same. The, no, Melo got the sold. Oh, he did. He did. He oh, did. Nah, you're not selling me that, Ben. You're not because Mars just Mars just said that what they added was three new guys. That Cleveland team they added James. That's it. But they also well, did have Galskis and Booz already there, right? So right, and they were at the Cam bottom of the league. I don't, yeah, I, th I think can be in a. And they missed the playoffs. I think by one there. game, they barely missed the playoff. So if Melo did that same thing, is he rookie of the year? No, it would be LeBron because he got to the playoffs on them. No, and we're not. Uh, uh, uh. -uh. But again, we're not talking about. We, we we're not talking about that because I just like I I just mentioned. I don't even know why I brought playoffs up because it it it's it's in the regular season. But with that being said, again, I think James okay, so won. If we take a win and now we look at their stats Ooh. side by side, what does? Well, how does the voting last side go that far and their stats are that close? You can't even explain that. Their stats are literally similar, and Melo's probably better. He wasn't – LeBron well, was he's not probably better. Well, he's not they're probably better. Efficient. They're not bad. They, they, they basically were the same thing. They, they both averaged, they both okay. averaged the same thing. LeBron has a okay, How can you explain the voting landslide though? And they stashed yeah, LeBron's because James was the number one overall pick and he was the hype. I ain't gonna fight that. Oh, his, yeah. his I mean, name, his I'm name, gonna gonna his name yeah. is on the I'm not gonna fight that. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight that. Yeah, like Wimby, Wimby name is on the wall right now. But him and Scoot Henderson do yeah. one of the same fight that. numbers and yeah. stats. And Scoot make the playoffs, Wimby still gonna get it. Wimby name already on the award. When, when Chet, when Chet makes the playoffs, I think Chet's gonna have a real shot. They're gonna say he had a first team all NBA player on this team. Shake it. I won't fight that. Let me read yeah, some more. I think, it, I think when it's that close, you do have to go to winning, bro. It was that close between him and LeBron. You got to go to impact on team and winning and stuff like that. I think you. I don't think you. I think you're wrong when you say, "Oh, the winning shouldn't have nothing to do with it." That that's. I mean, that should. I'm not happened. saying that it shouldn't have anything to do with it. It hasn't had anything to do with it. History tells us. No, I'm saying no, no. I'm saying I'm not saying, saying it shouldn't. It, it hasn't. Know. That's what the history tells us. That's because most players went to bad situations. So it was hard for them just to turn it around because they were already in a horrible situation. Right. What we're saying to you is, is that you never had two guys 
that was in similar bad situations that had similar type of playing seasons, but it came down to where, okay, what's the last thing we can judge? And that's pretty much your effect on the team and effect on winning. The fact that Melo in the West got his team to the playoffs and LeBron in the East was on the outside looking in. And then you can validate this by looking at the very next year when LeBron failed to get there again, when those players had a little more experience and he had other guys in there. So, Again, he actually was tied for the. He, 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 he actually he, he's actually tied. Bro, you can get that to Carmelo. You just don't want to do it in your heart, but in your in your spirit, you can really give that to Carmelo, bro. You can I ain't saying that he couldn't. Have, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm talking about the vote, and I'm not saying that he couldn't have won it because the numbers were similar. I ain't saying that he couldn't have won it, and I'm not. And, and what I won't do is I won't apologize for how I feel about LeBron James. If I'm being honest about stuff, I could be honest, but then I can also say this is my guy, and I'm not going to apologize for that. A proud bro, sexual. W bias, W bias. No, I'm not going. Uh -uh, I'm not going to apologize about that. And the reason why I'm not going to apologize about that because y'all the same way. Y'all got guys. You, J, um, Mars, do not Jaylen sit Green. there with that smug British look on your face like you didn't tell us <laughs> that Jalen Green is going to be better than Michael Jordan. So don't sit there and tell us that. Okay. I so we all got facts, guys. I say, I don't even don't facts. even hit me with that nonsense. But when I actually say that I got a guy, that yes. If it's close, I'm going with my guy. Who's more skilled, rookie uh, Michael Jordan or right now Jalen Green? Skilled as a basketball player. Mm. All I said, and I stand on it, at the age of 21, Jalen Green has done more in the NBA than Michael because Jordan. Because he's been there for three years, and Jordan had just shown up. So, of course, that's the case. Okay, so I was right. So I was right. <laughs> Oh, and that's the thing, the, the Jalen Green propaganda, everyone in the chat knows I'm trolling. You believe what you believe. And I'm, it's fine to be biased. It's fine yeah, to have really, your guy. You know, Jalen you know, has his way. guy. Yeah. Everyone knows if I say Jalen Green's better than Michael Jordan, I'm trolling. Even though it gets, for some reason, it got clipped and put on a big short for whatever reason. Cool. Everyone knows I'm trolling. Get the views. The real stuff about Jalen Green is when I just say I think he's a great young player, going to be one of the best shooting guys in the league, one of the top scorers, right. blah, blah, blah. I believe that. But if I say he's better than Michael Jordan, I think the chat can figure out. I don't think he's better than Michael Jordan. Don't forget to take the pickles off that double Big Mac you eat right now. <laughs> you don't like the pickles? <laughs> I'm not a pickle guy either. Pickles are chicken. Chill out, out, yo. You, you don't like pickles? Pickles are really? Come on, Lettuce, onion, tomato, ketchup, pickles and in, 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 in. Right. bun eat mass. I know Damo Toilet be screaming for dear life when he sit down. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pitch chip. Derek Lively is 7-1 and 7-7 wingspan. First game, cool matchup for Wemby. How many points he getting versus Mavs? Lively cook. I mean, Lively look. Weak versus Gobert, though, strength-wise. He's a project more than anything. Wemby going to have yeah. a nice 49-9. and nine. Wemby should, should dominate him, but it'll be interesting. <laughs> Troll alert. Yeah, if I'm right, I'm right. Yeah. Wemby, Wemby going to cook. Got you, got or you. Or he'll have a summer league game, like his first summer league game. And that, and everyone will say he's a bust. You guys been impressed with Kaminga in the preseason or not? Nah? He just had, oh. I believe he had. He looked 30, good last 28? night. Twenty eight. Yeah, he, he looked he's good. Looked last good night. in every game. Yeah, I and feel he, like in other preseasons he's had big games too. Play him though. That's the question. Yeah, I just want to see him in the regular season. He's had this hype in the past couple. Mm, and so preseason play good. doesn't always translate to the regular season, uh, right? I mean, you got to get the minutes. To, you got to get the minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's true. It's wild yeah. how that works. Wild how that works. Uh, Winter, Ticket, how do you feel about the Wizards team slash players after watching them in preseason? Also, panel, how Didn't do y'all feel hold, hold, hold. about... Hold on, hold on, Didn't I sit up here and tell all these boys, Doug, that Jordan Poole was going to get money this year? And they told me, nah, he ain't going to do that. I said, bro, he's going to get money this year. Get money or would you say um? I go to or would you say um? Get money or say um? I'm not getting on that Washington train. Sorry. No, no, no. That boy finna get money this year, Chill Town. Oh, we, we, we've, all, we've all come to the conclusion that Jordan Poole might be leading the league in scoring this year on he's like 27, a, a 28 team. shots. He gonna, he, it's going to be it's gonna be something like 27, 28 shots a game. He's, he's they're going to no, 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 regret that they let him walk out the door, bro, in Golden State. Because what they see him do in Washington, bro, I'm telling you, he finna put on a show for these people, man. It's Because now he's free. 
Kyle Kuzma has looked, Kyle Kuzma has looked better than Jordan Poole, but again, it's preseason. He learned the I, best I, I, I have I haven't watched a second of Wizards preseason basketball. He learned from the best with Curry. He learned from Curry. You know when the other thing he finished is finished watching, they just pop into a game and the watch. I heard Bilal Kulabani's looking good though. I've heard that. I mean, I haven't watched, but Bilal's I've looking heard he's really looking good. good. Bilal's looking really good from what I've seen. He's looking really good. And ain't nobody eating no fucking sandwich. Uh, and I fuck with That's Petros. That's what I was about so, to ask you, too, Damo. You nah, well, nice. crazy. You well done, Burger. You know what First you eat, Damo. Hey, hold on, hold on. You, hey, no, you don't wait, wait. What's wrong with eating a well done burger? I say nothing's wrong with a well done burger. I don't know what's, what's going on here. Secondly, I don't know why niggas think I'm bubble bass. I fuck with pickles. So I'm not telling them to take the pickles off. Third, I'm sorry. I had um, the plumbers here. So it's hella loud. So my mic's muted. So I can't really talk for it. Oh, the plumbers. So the ticket was right about not toilet be taking for slack. Yeah. Get Right into the door, Damo. I can't be mad. I walked in That's crazy. But no, it's mad. All I was doing, I had to sit on my screen. I have no shame in mind. I walk out the bathroom and tell him, like you told me in the movie, hey. Don't nobody come in here for 35, 45 minutes. <laughs> like I got to spray it down. I got to spray it down after done usage. That's for real. It'd be Stay like, out of here. This is bad in there. Don't go in there. You think I'm joking, chill town? Don't go in there. Don't walk out. It's bad in there. You better not go in there for about 30 minutes. Don't go in there. Chill out. Yeah, nuts, man. Winter ticket. Oh, wait, no. We answered this one already. And you guys talked about, uh, I can never say his last name, Belial Kulabali. Color belly. Uh, football CVC CFC candy. SB, we may have found baby Mikhail Bridgson, J. Phillips. Bridge. Yes, baby Mikhail Bridges in J. Phillips. J. Phillips. Yeah, he's nice. The kid, nice. Got to see more from him, though. Is, he gonna, is, is that a, like, is is that a Bulls out? player? Hey, yeah. Nah, hey, hey, yeah. Hey, nah, oh, hey, Duffy. You can nah, nah, respect hey, Julian Duffy. Phillips, man. Respect hey, him. you see this low? I'm bringing the Bulls content over here, Domo. What are you talking about? Man? Hey, mm-hmm. hey, yeah, Duffy, I heard you're, 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 you're mad about them being ranked 25th. Oh, yeah, I'm finna say that. He should have been 29th. Hey, you had a part, you had to play a part in it, Mars? No, I had them at like 22. Hey, you want to, you, 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 you can pull up, you know, you can pull up. I'm a definitely, hold on, let me answer Duffy. No, no, I'm gonna get you off the game. I'm gonna get on 2K, but you sell you to make you get off the game. Nah, that's crazy. Work. You can, you can hey, play hey, Duffy, that's the worst thing you can do is 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 go in the bathroom in, in the store, and them people ain't flushing. I hate that, bro. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. nasty, yeah. ass people, yo. You walk into a long in that moment, damn, yo. But you tell me, all that you damn. All you do is your foot and you don't want to touch it. Yeah, you gotta just, touch just, it. Just touch the damn toilet, nasty ass. I just want to say, as y'all snap on nasty people for what they do in public restrooms. Which I don't know what y'all expect from. I, 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 I never even, I never even taken up a trip. I don't know. I just want to point out, Damo. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 I just asked him last night in the group chat, yo, who has 2K? I'm trying to get something going, creator wise. This motherfucker was the first one. Oh, nah, man. I, I understand. The game sucks. Now, oh, what you doing tonight? Oh, I'm on 2K all night. Mars is a. He, he, he was playing. I'm not going to lie, Dumb Mo. I didn't see the message. I was. He was. I was playing. Mars was playing. Mars was playing the, the whole entire back. night. Literally yes. the whole entire yes. night. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you, chill. He's a scumbag. I play 2K. I play 2K, Damo. Yes. I'm trying to get, well, I'm I'm trying I'm trying get a credit league going, man. I'm trying to get something going for content. Hey, Damo. Hey, and Damo. Hey, Damo. Damo. Scumbags, bro. That's crazy. Scumbag. Hey, hey, Damo. You know, hey, Damo. You know the worst part is, is that when you in there, and you see somebody <laughs> get in the bathroom and walk out and don't even wash their hands, bro. Oh, my God. That's the worst thing. Hey, Damo. That's the worst thing ever, Damo. I say when I see that, I say this is a nasty motherfucker right here. Oh no, I ain't gonna hold you. Nah. I, gotta, I, I got a coworker fired for that one time. I, and, then Dumbo, <laughs> and then Dumbo, and then Dumbo, and then walk out and dab somebody up. That's oh yeah, true. that's why. That's why I, I never. Like, hey, George, yep. nigga, you're getting up out of here. I'm not. I'm not working. Yep. Yep. Gonna give me the goddamn cooties. What level of terrorism is that, Damo? What level? That's, 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 that's what 
That is Uno. right next to Darvin Right Rebel next to Darvin right <laughs> <Rebel Uno. laughs> Hey, Jerry. <Yes>, <laughs> I had to say something. We work in a restaurant. I mean, my job, bro. Hey, Domo, hey, hold on. Domo, you going to say something? You see somebody walking out no, the no, way? Yes, I'm saying something. I need my job, yo. I need to be I need to be able to come to work. And I can't Especially come to work with nasty, nasty, nasty ass hands. Bro, I, 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 I think taking a number two at a restaurant is disgusting in general. Because if you're just wiping after, if you're not washing your ass after, you're disgusting. When I worked at Walmart and I would go in the bathroom and them customers that be shopping and they want to use the bathroom and then walk out without wipe, I dead ass going to give them a, a sanitary wipe. Right. Like, hey, wipe, wipe that fucking thing now. Where your hands are oh, at? All the paper ain't getting it done, y'all. Y'all better watch. What are you doing? Watch. Like, you're just oh, walking. Man. And look at you dead in your eyes. Like, it's normal. Right. Like, you're a you sick. You ain't gonna watch that, daddy. You ain't gonna watch that, though. <laughs> like, you're disgusting, bro. Mm -hmm. hey, anyway, I'm sorry, Doug. We, we got thrown off the track. I did, I don't, I L, L, Wait, nasty Dub, ass Dub, people. Did you sell on 2K? Yeah, I agree. Oh, I heard man, you got cooked. Bro. That's what the chat's saying. What's Gabe? Gabe? Gabe saying that you were wrong for that performance that you put on in the wreck oh, yesterday. You're terrible? You terrible again? Like oh Quince? yeah, that game, that game, that game. Uh, I was on my phone and I just, I did not care mm, about that game at all. Dubstep, and because bro. honestly, hey. honestly, honestly, I thought they, I thought they was gonna uh, beat the team like easily, but they didn't. So I was like, oh. Hey, Doug. Real talk. Is. That's why I stopped dapping people up. I gave people pounds down. Because yeah, me too. On the wrist, earth, bro. Duh. Right. These people now on this earth, you never know what they did before they dapped you up, bro. Mm. I'm oh, talking yeah, about yeah. all kind of stuff when, going on. When, when I when I when I seen that, I that's <laughs> that's I seen that when I was 19. That's when I stopped shaking people's hand and stopped dapping people up. And literally, this is what I do every time. I'll be like this to forum. I'll be like, yo, what's good, bro? Bro, I ain't gonna hold COVID you. Changed I had, the world, man. COVID changed the world. I had to change up my friend circle. I seen the dude, he watched me sneeze in my hand. Like and still wanted to dap me up. I'm like, oh, bro, that's crazy. That's you're so crazy. disgusting. Please, Dumb. I have to delete your number out my phone. This is crazy. We can't <laughs> hang out. We can't play 2K now because mm. you watch me sneeze as we're walking up the Greek. True. Oh shit. Hey, bro, this nigga. Oh, what's good? Why oh, you shit. watch me sneeze in my hand? <laughs> you don't even go opposite hey. hand. Yo, I seen that at the cruise, bro. And the sneeze, that shit pissed me off. I, I mean, that thing got me so tight, bro. What? This random behind dude, literally, bro, out of nowhere, we're eating our food. Ah, two all over his head. That's crazy. And still, hey, yo, we gotta move oh, on. Oh, gotta sneeze to the elbow, y'all. Gotta sneeze hey, to yo, the elbow. Yo, we gotta move on because I'm starting to get pissed yeah. off. Yeah, who is that? Nasty yeah. ass people. Yo, nasty people do. boil me, man. I swear. Nasty shit, ass people. Bitch, you don't think I'm in. You have my own Crazy That's thing is, a lady looked at him. A lady looked at him and he did this. Huh. Bitch, go go put some hand sanitizer on, bro. What's wrong with you? man. Hey, chill. We in the area. They wipe their ass and go right to the dinner plate. That's Hell man. no, you ain't. No, the fuck, man. See this one, hey, hey, you know what? Better watch. I like how passionate come. you guys are about hygiene. I respect that, bro. Hey, Mars, right? Mars. We in, Mars. We in an era where people take a shower and use the rag and wipe their ass before they wipe their face. Yeah, that is. You supposed to have two separate towels. Yeah, 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 yeah. two separate towels. Yeah, have a face towel. Have a face hey, towel. Have a body hey, towel. Mars have thought about that. Hey, Mars thought about that because they don't use no rags overseas. They just use the soap. Oh, really, you don't use rags. You don't scrub down, Mars. I have um. You get a loofah. Well, I have. Loofah? You get like these little glove thingies that you put. Yeah, in the, okay. Put the, and then you scrub like that. So it's a little manual exfoliation too. <laughs> oh, bro. You got a dog wash glove? It's like exfoliation glove. It's an exfoliation glove. It's like an yeah, like an exfoliation glove. Yeah. So you got a glove in your bathroom. You just be... with scrubbers on it, like with the little scrubbers on. No, it's no. Like a... It's like, oh, it's like, uh, it's like uh, I don't know how to explain. I could probably find a picture. Right? There is a yeah, science so to I washing know. your ass. There is. Yeah, wait, shave, wait, your, shave your hair. Wait, wait, let me ask this question. So actually, we had this question on the pie, and motherfuckers looked at me like I was crazy. When y'all take a shower, how long do y'all be in the shower? Like, how oh, long do y'all take a shower? It depends, um, bro. Four, it depends. four songs. I do my showers in songs. I don't measure yeah. minutes. Four okay, songs. okay. So I'm not crazy. I, four songs is wild. Well, depending on who you listen four to. Songs. Me, I listen to good music. So a good song is <laughs> three to four minutes. A good two songs, two and a half songs, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I heard somebody, I'm not going to point out who it was on the pod, 
Motherfucker on the pod told me two minutes. I'm like, there's no way. There's no way you're in the shower for two minutes. You didn't do anything. You just let the water hit your skin. You didn't do anything in two minutes. Wait, no, that's not true. That's not true. No, 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 no. If you're in a rush, y'all don't, y'all don't know, y'all, y'all know, y'all know people that been in the military, bro. Hey, no, that's Jalen. Hey, no, that's Jalen. Jalen touched me. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When I'm when I'm when I'm around when I'm around fellow people who are 15 years old, they haven't been in the military, though. We put the face mask I'm on. I'm just saying, you could, you, on, could, you could get a good cleaning in two minutes. You get a towel, you get a, put oh, the dude. soap on, scrub down hard as hell, scrub down all right, over. And I'm not trusting no, no, trust no one around my age who says no. they take two minutes showers. And yeah. James, yeah. B, I, I, James B, I hear you choking. About, I hear you joking about, about about Ben, whoever the hell you joking about. You milk deadhead Barry Sanders with glasses. Oh, yeah. Hey, James B. Hey, look, bro. James B. finally milk. pulled up on his camera. Mm -hmm. I just said, go to the last episode of Chill with you. Milk deadhead his, ass. His face do not represent how he be talking. In right. His head. That's all I'm oh. saying. Barry Sanders Remember, with like, glasses looking ass. Milk deadhead potato ass. potato head <laughs> with glasses looking ass. <laughs> what the hell is happening? No, I, like I don't that. know. No, I don't know. No, no, no ticket, ticket, ticket the dude, the dude stay, ticket, the dude stay, he he stay joking and I don't say that. Junior, I'm a snitch. Pulled, then he actually pulled up, and I got to look. I got to see what he looked like, right? I got I got to see what he looked like. He looked like he looked like he looked like fat Albert lost weight. Omar's a gold boy brother, right? Yeah. So he you know what he said at minimum. You know what at max five. You know what because it doesn't take. He you know what? Let me bring it. No, no, no. I've been around. No, no, I've been around my nigga. He's a military man. No, no, no. I've been around my nigga Omar person. Omar's not a stinky nigga. He, he has good height. His, <laughs> science, his okay. science is, oh, it shouldn't take you more than like two cycles of washing yourself. If it takes you more than that, you're not really washing. What? If that if that's how you operate, cool. You're doing a deep cleaning, him. I guess. The nigga, don't, the nigga don't stink, so I mean, it works for him. Me Stop. personally, I can't get in the shower and just be like, Damo, this may run in the family. Damo, this may run in the family, right? Two minutes and I'm out. Damo, this this may run in the family. And shout out to PC Weekend because the uh, uh, content is dropping soon. <laughs> but okay. when we went to PC Weekend, Lowe did one of the nasty. I'm, I'm sorry to air this out. <laughs> but he did one of the <laughs> Hey, Doc does not need hey, to share it, whatever this story is. No, 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 no it's not. It's not crazy. It's not crazy. No, no, he did. No, he, did no. he did one. Of, he did one of the nastiest things I've ever seen. Like nasty as hell. Nothing too crazy though. And I don't even think I even told y'all this too when when I even seen it after Mars. You know how we played basketball the first day mm -hmm. after we sweating and everything, mm -hmm. bro. I see oh, you, this. You told me. You told, you told I did. You told me. Bro, I seen this man posted up on his bed, clean ass bed, <laughs> no. right after we just had a full <laughs> no. sweat on, no shower, nothing. I was sitting there like, yo, that is mad. Hey, Domo, the funny thing is, he was so comfortable. You know how motherfuckers so comfortable. They sit like this. <gasps> Be kicking your feet like that and everything, bro. I'm losing. That is crazy. That is crazy. I'm not gonna sit here trying to defend Lowe and say that's not crazy. All I will say when it comes to Lowe and Omar, I know for a fact they brothers again. I've been around Lowe, I've been around Omar, and I seen this on the video for PC Weekend when that nigga Low just fell asleep on the couch. I don't know what the fucking is it narcolepsy. When niggas just fall asleep super easy, button on their ass. Yo, them <laughs> niggas got it. Mo and Omar will fall asleep so easily, so quickly in the most Whoa, really? if they get comfortable. So that I give him that. If he got home and was like, "Fuck out, sit down." He's a big guy. He I didn't fall guy. asleep. He was, he was on his phone. phone. He was he on his phone. Was he was like this. Oh, to not defend that guy. A lot of you not. He was like this the whole time. Don't keep asking the shower. Like nothing. Like nothing. That man was chilling. I was. With them, hey, duh, with them sheets smell like when he... <laughs> I never, I never went in his room after I said, I said, I never it's... even went to his room at all. Not even just to mess with him. Because I was like, I do not want to be around that at all. That was disgusting. I did help you, low. Yeah, I, I tried to help. Nah, that nigga... The niggas do fall asleep mad quick though, too easy. But man, you don't know, need to say that. You know, you know, you know it's not that, that bad of a story. Inspiration. He got that personal yeah, inspiration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, poor low. <laughs> My bad. Nah, man, man. W showers, Chad. W showers, man. Shower right. I'm looking for you, low.
How I, how I instigate? I just say nothing. I ain't say nothing this whole time. No, SB, you instigate. Hey, I'm glad you brought this up, uh, 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 Dub, because I'm I don't I don't know I don't know enough about him. Is Kai Jones serious about basketball? No. No, you hear his last track he dropped. Have you not seen the tag? He's got blue hair. He's not serious. You see, the, you see that music he dropped? I think it's probably it's probably he just he's got infinite money. What are we talking about? So you know, you know, you know what somebody you know what highlights do go crazy. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, you know what somebody's just good at basketball. You know what somebody's just good at something like naturally good at something, right? But it's not really something that they're like crazy passionate about. And that's him. I, I feel like it's Kyle Jones. He's just yeah, really good at basketball. I'm just good. At, I'm just good at this. I make a lot of money, so I show up, whatever. Exactly. And I'll say this, I'll say this too. A lot of people. A lot of people are seeing the the first of all, just the one video of him seemed like he was off something. And other than that, they're just judging his whole personality yeah. based off that one clip. He doesn't have a track record of just being this super crazy head case. The problem with him and Charlotte is the fact that they have Mark Williams and Nick Richards, who they like more. You know, run and him. he's trying and now he's doing shit on social media anti-wise. Right. And he's already spoke as what you would deem, you could say he spoke mm -hmm. bad on them. So it could yeah. create problems that they could that's forcing it could create forcing problems. And with yeah. a team with the track record of the Hornets, with all the legal shit that they got between their players, between the Miles Bridges, between James Book Knight, between LaMelo Ball. Like, hey, I don't listen. I stay out hour outside of Charlotte. Let, let's not get it twisted. LaMelo Ball is not the cleanest cookie in the bunch. I promise mm -hmm. you. The, oh, yeah, no, yeah. the nigga got shit going on off the court. So when you got all that, and then you got this nigga that's basically a two-way player. Going crazy on the timeline for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, you're cut. Yeah, yeah, so, but to answer that question, shit, send him to, send him to Golden State. Hey, bro, I knew, <laughs> I knew my little ball was simping out when he said, I love Anna Montana. That's when I knew he was done. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys so, feel? Yeah, I wanna, he said that? yeah, he done. I want to ask you, um, we just talked about Kai Jones, but also about rookies. How do you guys feel about Braxton Miller? I actually like him. I think he's going to be pretty good. Brax, you mean Brent, Brandon Miller? Bra Brandon Miller. I'm about to say Braxton Miller. Miller. I'm about to say Braxton Miller. I don't know him. He's, he's back, back, back in the NFL. Focus, Focus Mars. Focus, Mars. Focus, Mars. Focus, Mars. Brandon, this is, Brandon this is Miller. the scumbag part we're talking about with Mars. With Mars. <laughs> you know he was talking about. Yeah, super scumbag. You knew he was talking about, Mars. Brandon Miller, not Brad. The scummy, the scumminess. It's the scumminess that we're talking the about. The scumminess. Listen, I had a long night. I'm tired. I'm now, I, I think we had this conversation. Oh, he's an NFL player. Braxton Miller's—he was in a yeah, football yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we talked. No, now, we, 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 we had this con we had this conversation in the summer during the summer league that I thought that he'd be a lot better in the regular season playing with Lamelo Ball. I mm -hmm. think in transition, he's going to look a lot better. Um, he's going to look a lot better getting getting one on ones and like quick buckets. He's not going to look like he did where he looked lost completely in that offense and defensively. I think he's going to look a little bit different playing with Melo Ball and in that system. So I'm not I'm not having him as rookie of the year caliber player but i, I do think he's going to be solid i'm a i'm a i'm a i'm a like i said wimby and chet and my other guys can whip more i'm on record detroit made a mistake passing on him they made a mistake passing on him no they didn't like 13 other teams uh, passed on him too. They, they did no no no, no. detroit didn't make they got so. i'm gonna say assault they they got they got the player they wanted they didn't do all wrong by passing on other teams did the lakers definitely fucked up passing on them but other teams uh, definitely you know, you're not working with Jalen Hinchapin? I mean, again, I have the same critiques I had after the first preseason game. He's shifty and he has positives, but the kid is not – he's not a point guard yet. Like, he's not. He's a two mm. guard. He's not a point guard yet. The decisions he decides to make with the ball, they're not point guard enough for me. So he, he's a two guard, he's a scorer, and he just needs to get comfortable. But, no, we definitely would have been better with Cam. We wouldn't need Cam Reddish or that terrorist Torian Prince if we had Cam Whitmore. But going back to Brandon <laughs> Miller, going back to Brandon Miller, I'm 100% – Believing in Brandon Miller. When he got drafted, I was trying to tell everybody the Hornets did the 125% right thing taking Brandon Miller because they have their point guard in LaMelo Ball that yeah. they want the mm. ball in his hands. Yep. School is not a guy that's going to be playing a ton off ball. He's not. Now, with the talent they have over there, he might be forced to, but he's not going to be best utilized off ball. He just won't be. So putting him next to LaMelo Ball and then trying to say, oh, bring LaMelo off the ball, you're mm. you're you're nerfing LaMelo. So you got to put a guy next to him that works. And Brandon Miller, with how he likes to run the floor, with how sneaky his athleticism is, and how natural of a scorer he is, because the same way Vic can come through the lane, has he tween step back uh pull, Brandon Miller got that in his, he that's in his bag. It, it, it is there. He's a 6'9, 6'10 guy who's on the wing, pretty good with the ball, and scores a lot better off the dribble than I assume he would this quick. 
in the preseason, the way he's been scoring the ball, I didn't think this would happen until midway down. I thought it would be an adjustment. Mm -hmm. Now, again, these are second string, third string, G League, overseas guys. It's not everybody's best team. But I am liking what I'm seeing from Brandon Miller, and people want to start putting respect on his name because Buddy can ball. Yeah, I remember we had a disagreement about drafting for fit or just drafting best player available. Yep. I'm still on the side to draft best player available. But I do think – I said Brandon Miller to me was the fifth best prospect in this class. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm not mad at him going number two because I understand the fit thing. I think he was – after Wemby, obviously, mm -hmm. he was the next best fit for Charlotte because mm -hmm. a man is going to be someone who needs the ball, can't really shoot, scoot, similar thing. And then I don't think anyone else is really on that tier of prospects. You can maybe argue with Saw, but I think his shooting problems would be the same thing. So I think Brandon Miller, Charlotte was probably the best place for him. Like you, I'm, I wasn't expecting the shot creation to come around this quick. I, I thought there would be an adjustment period. Maybe there still will be. Maybe we're just looking at yeah, preseason like basketball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, his shooting ability just like wide open off the catch. Like those shots that he's going to get from Lamelo Ball creating even Terry Rozier. He's going to capitalize on that straight away. I think he's going to be a good shooter. So I think Charlotte got a good pick here. I don't see like all star or anything for Brandon Miller, not for anyone. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But I do think I do think Charlotte are very happy with their pick, and I don't think they regret passing on Scoot. And I think that's the best thing. I think that's the best thing for Brandon Miller at this point is as long as he can make it so that they don't regret passing on Scoot. I think he's done his thing because like a lot of people, not just chill today, a lot of people just keep talking about Scoot as if he was the number two pick. Brandon Miller just seems to get brushed by. Mm -hmm. It's like Wemby was the one number one pick. Scoot was the number two pick. Brandon Miller, I think, is going to eventually play his way into the fact that everyone's going to recognize the fact he was the number two pick and it was justified. And I commend him for if he's able to do that. So that's my thoughts on it, I guess. Gotcha, you, gotcha. You. Anybody else care to comment or no? Are we getting to a mentor subject? Do you want to? Go ahead, brother. Some of athleticism. Okay. Ahead, Amen, Thompson. Um, anyone who's been watching the Houston Rockets in preseason? Nobody. You were doubt and you were doubting our doubting our team. Be quiet, please. Um, because we're playing defense. Sangoon's playing defense, Jalen Green's playing defense. Jabari Smith is qualified from Trevor Ariza and also Porter conversations. Jabari Smith is is nice. He's tough. He is beating um, the allegations. Stop yes. being uh, 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 yes, yes, allegations. Jabari Smith. Uh, uh, I was wrong about you, buddy. Jabari yeah. Smith. I was wrong about you. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing yeah. the development. The mid post yes. game is coming around. He's making his threes. Mm -hmm. Like everything apart from putting the ball on the floor, it's moving me. Defense. It was moving me last season. Still moving me. We're moving the ball well. We're get we're getting a lot of action off the ball. We're getting cuts. We're, we're using our athletes. We're getting to the rim. It's there. Everything is there. Amen Thompson. Fantastic passer. One of the better rookie passers in this draft. It's him, Anthony Black. Two best passers in this class, in my opinion. They are, he's making elite reads. He's getting to the rim. His athleticism is off the charts. I know you guys saw that dunk. He got the highlight. I know everyone saw that. Ridiculous mm -hmm. athlete. One of the best athletes in the NBA already. So, um, I believe if Fred Van Vliet is meant to be a leader of this team, he needs to volunteer to come off the bench. Because Amen Thompson needs to start. Not for 40 million, you know. No, no that's not happening. Wins. That's no. not going to happen. That's not going to happen. 100%. That is 100% going to happen. This year? This year? This year is going to happen. It's going to no, happen. I'm shocked. It's going to happen. I need to know. He needs to know. If Fred Van Vliet is a leader, he needs to know. He needs to go to email. Hey, look, I know I'm making all this money, but I think it's for the betterment of the team. If a man starts, let me come off the bench. That's what he needs to do. Good thing Van Vliet's not a star. So there we go. Good thing he's not a star. He they just paid him like he's one. Yeah, he no, they, pay, no, no, no. They paid him. They did they him. Quick question, quick question. Is he getting paid 40 million whether or not he starts? Is he still yes. getting that 40 million? What difference does it make? Start. What he difference does it make? What NBA, he's still what getting NBA that 40 million? Player at the top does he want to win? Does he want to start or does he want to win? That's he's going to want to start. That's what it comes down to. If you want to win, he, you should have went to like the Lakers. Start, or, and if he or, wants to start, then you can trade him. And if he wants to start versus wanting he, to win, he then you can trade him. There we go. I'm saying it now. Because I said, it when they, the I said it when they I said it when they when they drafted him in. I said it when they put this team together. 112%. I see Van Fleet being the sixth man for the simple fact a man is going to do so many things right and well. On that unit, you're gonna have to play him. We sat up here and everybody was, oh my god, they have all these guards. Don't know where the minutes gonna come from. I don't give a damn where they come from. They're gonna come because at a certain pause, at a certain point, you're gonna realize having a Focus six six, time off. having a six 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 seven super athlete, great defensive, great playmaking, 
natural gifted point guard, you're going to have to put him in, especially with how the NBA looks today with a lot of these guards being bigger. If this team's going to rely on their defense, they're going to want the better defensive guard out there. So even if it comes down to Van Fleet starts, but Amen finishes, or Amen just going to take the starting spot, Van Fleet is going to come off the bench, whether he wants to or not. It's going to happen. Now, two things could be true. What you saying about the Thompson guy? It's a lot of percent true with skill wise, but this man Fred Van Vliet just got paid this money. And OG, take a y'all guy, uh, NBA guys who played at the high level. Where have you ever been at the peak of your game where you feel like you're playing good? You're going to say, nah, I come off the bench. Nobody ever does that. And then if he cared about winning, he would never sign to the Rockets. He went to the team where he get the most opportunity to play and the most opportunity to get paid. The two word P and P, pause, pay and play. Because if he cared about what? PP. He Obviously, he signed with the Rockets. His money is guaranteed. Is that what he said? He's getting paid regardless. Or did he go where he got paid? Him signing to the Rockets tell you that. No, Fred Van Vliet. Fred Van Vliet needs to understand that that contract right there was his going away uh, present right there. Of he can grace, uh, he can age gracefully into his NBA career. He's he should be done with basketball. You guys also need to understand we paid guys like Fred Van Vliet and Dylan Brooks that much money because we had to spend money. Okay. We had to. That's why we never gave them extremely long-term deals. That's why Dylan Brooks' contract is front-loaded. We have to pay them. No, the deal is only a certain the amount of salary cap. The three years the NBA the gets the, we have to give the three NBA years of it is guaranteed. Is but the point I'm saying, yeah, is three years of no, it is guaranteed. I, Dylan I Brooks' contract is front-loaded. No, 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 two, two of them all. Two, 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 two and one's a two. team option, I believe. Yeah, yeah and then the last, Dylan Brooks is front-loaded, so we're paying him more of his eight million in the first two years than the last two. So because we know we have to spend the money early on, otherwise we give the money back to the NBA. Fred Van Vliet is paid regardless of the fact if he starts or not. No, 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 Mars. Mars Mid-season at the Mars latest, Mars I meant this something is, to start. No, this is the point of Fred Van Vliet. Yeah, yeah people are acting like Russ wasn't unreal. coming off the bench. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, that unreal. Gordon Hayward wasn't even going to start straight away. away. I'm saying a mental exactly. way to start. Gordon Hayward was getting, was getting 31 $32 million yeah. dollars a year, and he came off the bench on the fucking warning. Exactly. So if your ability yeah. is not there, and there are young yeah. guys who they believe in more, they're going to start the young guys. No, this no, unwritten no. rule that you get paid, you got to start, is bullshit. Y'all play too much 2K. That's no, all no, no, is. listen, the point is... I no, nah, they're just I overthinking stuff. Things. Like, no, they're, not, they're not that obsessed with no, money to, two, to put two, their two team in jeopardy. Two things could be true. What y'all said about the Thompson kid is true. The point I'm telling y'all not, Fred Van Vliet himself is not going to say, hey, let him start. Thompson will have to literally take his starting job. That's the only he way will. it's going to happen. He will by the middle of the season. I'm telling you, you will. will. I'm telling you, he will. It's a possibility. I believe he has the talent to The only thing he can't do is shoot. And God, his shooting is bad. But that's the only thing he can't do. Everything else he does at a high level or a great level. Defensively, he said he wants to make an all-defensive team. He's not going to because politics of the NBA and Ricky's not going to make I mean, it. Better I mean, he's, oh he's that caliber of a defender Al- Al- right now. Right I like hearing rookies talk like that too, Miles. I like that I like a like defender right now. There's a lot of them in this, in this draft. Yeah. There's a lot of rookies who are trying to like make that staple playing defense yeah. in this like draft class. Right I now, do. he's that caliber of a defender at the point. I like that. I can't remember that coming from rookie shield. I can't remember a time where you had... Seven to 10 to 15 <coughs> rookies all like, nah, I'm about to be all defensive my first year. Nah, I'm trying to lock up shit my first year. Like, that is crazy. Like, and he may love the- defense. If a man Thompson right. shows he's about that on defense, he's, he's going to play. He's, gonna he's play. going to play. Because the way we've been playing in preseason on defense, a man Thompson fits the MO of this team. We want to play defense. We want to we wanna be physical. We want to be switchable. And we want to get out in transition. That's the man Thompson's game. The, the team is made for a man Thompson to prime. He will be starting sooner rather than later. Year two. I, I see him starting start, year, t- year two. Year two. Nah, year this one. ain't Pat Mahomes, buddy. This well, is, Fred Van Vliet was going to be making $40 million in year two, so I guess he can never start until Fred Van Vliet's off the team. Well, here's the, not, it, well I, I don't know if that's true, Miles. Again, I, I, I know that I said that, that, that the money is important, but if it's glaring where, you know what, we can't hold this dude back, that he need to be on the floor, then he will be on the floor. It's glaring and right now. I don't think no. that... Preseason. <laughs> I, if it's I, as I don't, glaring I don't, as Mars says, you can see a change, but we just got to see. I'm telling you, it's glaring. It's glaring. I, I'm telling you, it's glaring. And just like with, with Pistons, when I was like, I don't know what they're about to do with that situation. I, and I'm still mad they got Jaden Ivey because getting a sore Thompson, the same case is having a man. He's going to have to be on the floor. A sore is literally guarding the best perimeter players. I love that. So. That kind of talk. He the, has the, to the, be on the court. When I hear stuff like that, I'm loving that because when you got a guy that you have to play him, not from politics. It's obvious. This dude need to be on the floor. 
Mm. Now you put the coach in a real – you make the coach coach now. That's it's exactly really interesting how they talk about the OTE league changes with a man and Nassar being this good. Oh, yeah, no, they they be successful with the OTE league taking off now. That's all they I'm need. On record, I'm on record saying uh, that, Moss. I, I still record. think it takes, it takes the other guys outside of the, just them. It takes the other yeah. guys to, to oh, validate the league. Well, what it does, who, though, Domo. It just be a case of those who are just so good that it didn't matter if they went to college, the G League at night, mm. um, or OTE, they were going to be good. It's the rest of the guys. We talked about this during the draft. It's the guys that went in the second round or later first round that also were in OTE. They have to pan out in some way for me to be like, okay, yeah, OTE is legit. I also okay. think that it gives them credibility, though. So now when other guys come out, now they look more to that league as opposed to if these two kids come out and they're garbage, then their credibility goes right down the toilet. But these guys are actually – they look like they're going to pan out. So I think that they give that league credibility, and I think that that's a good yeah. thing. I'm on record saying that. Perfect, perfect. A lot of things to be excited about with the Thompson Twins, bro. I love seeing them. Uh, they show a lot of potential. Blind Tay, did Ticket pet play in the NBA? If so, how long? Ticket, have you ever played in the NBA? Ticket did not play in the NBA, but Ticket is a professional. He played he played 16 years. He, he, he played, yeah. He played yeah. 16 mm -hmm. years. I was going to say he was close, close enough. Right. Shit. Yeah. Close enough. He played 16. He played yeah. 16 years of pro ball. So, yeah. Just playing in playing playing in the NBA longer than I've been alive. That's crazy. If you don't play in the NBA, it does not mean that you did not play pro basketball. So, so you call him ticket old, Mars? Very. You're not 15 though. Stop with that narrative, bro. It's weird. Please, right. enough already. Nick is, Nick is pilot nine and Nick. The, that's a crazy name. And Nick the Quick also solely junior gaming and JFL became members. Appreciate you guys, bro. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then we're gonna have thickest pilot. Duty booty is crazy. OG shaking my head. I forgot Good the name of the what, 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 what y'all called me. With, yeah, with the, your YouTube oh, name and to point out that is even crazier. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's I, I, call him, I call him. I call him. I call him thickums. I might say yeah. We call him thickums. <laughs> 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 thickums. <laughs> Dumpy truck. Dumpy truck. Word. Hey Dub, did you see that RDC video when he was Wait. like Jimmy Butler was mad? He called uh Dame. He was like, You leave me over here with big booty, big booty cow liar. You supposed to come and help me, Dame. I haven't seen it, but That's I got you. Hey, he doing well, his I seen somebody like called Thicky James before I almost died, bro. <laughs> called him what? Thicky James. Oh my god. Yo, if he was still oh, on the god. team with Grady Dick, the jokes that'd be going on would be crazy. Mm -hmm. That's wild. Wild. <laughs> that's wild. That's wild. That's wild. I didn't even that's think about that. Crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Nobody ever thought about that. I promise you. You're disgusting. Blind say, who played with better players, Dame or Jimmy? Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. 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 Yeah, Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy. It's easily Jimmy. It's not even close. Yes. Yeah, Cat. Unless you're already factoring in. Cat and B, Simmons. Wiggins. Um, Wiggins. Bam. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade. Rondo. 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 Oh, Wait, Dan Rose. Yeah, Dan Rose. 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 Hey, that's Dom, a whole hey, different. No, we ain't putting gas hey, on this. Hey, 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 I just said Bam. I just, I just said Tyler Hero. Oh, I did oh, say Bam and Tyler. I, 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 I didn't hear him. Really do what he could. SB, hey, I, 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 I didn't hear him. SB, I didn't hear him though. Listen, SB, I didn't want to. I want to jump in on the the Pat Riley convo because it would have been real bad for you. Because I, I ain't gonna hold you holding the Pat Riley those type of I don't know expectations or whatever you're mad at him for. Is wild. It is wild. <laughs> I'm just saying it's real quick. He's religiously put around. He's religiously put great talent on these teams. I don't. I mean. I'm just saying, guys, a little low. It's just that's it. Anybody, I just see people get cooked. Lots got you, Julius Irvin. They robbed Cade for rookie of the year. They said it was because Barnes and Mobley won more games, but Cade had a better year than both of them. Mm. I, think was, I think Mobley was the rookie of the year by a wide margin. I, I think Mobley is the rookie of the year that year yeah, before the season too. started. Scotty Barnes won it. Scotty, yeah, Scotty Barnes. Yeah, I, I, I think I don't think Cade was the rookie of the year. I think it was Evan Mobley, but. I don't think it. I definitely don't think it was Scotty Barnes. I'll say that. Damn, Scotty Barnes. Shout out, shout out, shout out, my little cousin. No, just Scotty Barnes. Barnes. I just think yeah, Evan Mobley was clearly the best rookie that year. Teddy Hart, Jordan Poole is literally tracing Gilbert Arenas' steps down 
to a Oh, yeah, from Golden State to Washington. Oh, Evan, this is crazy numbers, and then he's going to get a gun charge. I will say, I will say, and I'm going to say it right here because I was giving a lot of criticism to him. Hey, man, Ron, I'm going to have to walk back what I was saying about Jordan Poole, too, man. I. I'm not saying I'm still. I'm not saying I see 28. I'm not sold him to 28. He gonna get 25. Thinking about, think about historically what's going on, uh, like players in this situation. I was listening to Kevin Garnett. He was like, "Man, I, I see him being like how James Harden was after the Thunder." And I was like, "Shit, I low key do too. That's actually crazy." That- I said, "I said this right," and I said this last night. When people play with anger, I don't know. That just does, does something to something to a man, bro. If James Harden, Jordan, I mean, damn, Jordan Domo. Heated. Wow. Hold on. I mean, he's not James Harden or Gilbert Arenas. He's a shot First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all. First of all. And see, he's he, not as like, good, but he's going to get enough shots. He's going to get enough shots. He'll be and good, yeah. I need you to keep saying stuff like that so PC can clip it and he sees it to prove you wrong. Because I'm telling you now, I think the notion around Jordan Poole just being a shot chucker and just being this inefficient guy, that's fun to say right now. But in the case that this motherfucker really does go out there and just becomes an offensive juggernaut or relatively above average offensively. I'd be shocked. Motherfuckers is cooked. I'm yeah, not shocked I'm sure. because, I'm hey, sure. I ain't going to hold you. Up, if Kyle, me, Kuzma, Kyle Kuzma playing next to a guy, I'm, with Kyle Kuzma playing well, with how Bilal has looked, I'm just saying, Jordan Poole and, and we trade, Tyus Jones is a solid point guard. Jordan Poole just didn't get thrown in no man's land by himself where he has to take 150 shots and that's it. Jordan Poole got a little – it's a little bit of upside with some of his help. I will say that. I hear you. There's some guys over there that is definitely serviceable, and I can see shit panning out to where they literally maximize what Jordan Poole's able to do offensively. And he's finally around better baddies. I mean, the girls over there wasn't that mm. look good looking. Now he over Easy. there in Washington. I'm Easy. telling you, he's about to be balling up. I don't think you've ever been to got, the Bay Area, dog. I, was I, say, I know, I know don't get me wrong. D.C. Yeah. got some things, but – you ain't. Not, I used to live in the Bay well, Area. The Bay? It's, 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 yeah, it's, but it's, it's different when you got. Man, uh, it's that different. Was a long time. Man. It's man, different when. Will, <laughs> it's different when you got yeah, some. Tan. It's different when you got some tan on you. You feel I mean, me? It just tastes different. Oh damn, you know? there, There's a lot of snow bunnies out there. You got to get you know with the Hispanics. You feel with that mel- okay, melanin. Well, you know, diversity. it just it changes the man, man. Mm-hmm. It just it just does, bro. But Kyrie to go. Y'all seen Trey Young off ball play in preseason? Now, what is no. this off ball? What is this off ball logic? One minute y'all dudes is telling me that it's about buckets and about a dude being super nice with the peel, and now you're telling me that a dude has to look good playing off the basketball at the lead guard. Which one is it? Y'all confusing me. Chill, yeah. it's, it's nitpicking. Man. Some people don't nitpicking. get it. You have, there's some people who have both. Maybe the best playing guard. Man. Oh, okay, okay, that's it. <laughs> you just have both. I think that's the best thing. You have both. It's better than having only one. It's nice to have both. I, pe- I think people overrate uh how easy it is to develop a uh I mean underrate how easy it is to develop an off ball game. But have you played in the NBA? NBA? I know people that play in the NBA. They tell me. But have you played in the NBA? Yeah, say yes, yes dog. Say yes, yes, dog. Yes, sure, he has. Sure, 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 sure. Yes, he has. Mars. Yeah, yeah he's, so he's, he's averaging fifteen rebounds right against Elgin Baylor. And you da- you're damn fucking right. <laughs> Andrew G. <laughs> Andrew G. and Ezekiel. Became members. Appreciate you guys. Yes, sir. Uh, G King Mars, what's your real age? Keep it 100. 20. 20. Thickest pilot. Thickums is hilarious. OG, how about them liberty? All the aces did was protect their home floor. That's all they did. It don't work like York, that in the best of five, when, OG. When, when they came to New York last night and they ran the offense through Jacquel and she was giving Asia everything she was looking for last night and those guards actually played better you saw a different Liberty team. You saw Didn't a completely different Liberty team. Say it one more time. Didn't yeah, they point guard got hurt from the, from the Aces. They point guard got hurt. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Real, I, real, you real. ain't talking about Aces stuff now. I'm going to say, yeah. where's, where's yeah. all that Kelsey yeah. Plumlock yeah. box now? Where's it at? Yeah. talking spicy about Kelsey. Stewie looked real good last night, smacking uh, that shit back up. in Asia face. Jacquel got Asia on the be, box. And she was New York Liberty. New York Liberty, Statue of Liberty. It could be in New York City. It was also it was also the aces. The aces were shooting a little unsustainable first. Like they were just so hot from three the first two games. All I know is tomorrow night. I'm sorry, Wednesday night. If this thing goes back to Las Vegas, we got a problem. If if, if the aces if the aces gonna win it, they got to win tomorrow night. Because we go back home, it's a lot. It's it's different winning the first two games on your home floor as opposed to elimination game in game five on your home floor with all the marbles. It's different. 
Got you guys. Well, that's going to conclude today's episode of the panel. Appreciate you guys for being here, bro. It was dope. Great to see Ticket back. Great to see everybody here. We can't wait for the NBA season that's coming up in just a few weeks. It's crazy how time flies, right? Yes, sir. Next yeah, Tuesday. Sir. Ne- next week. Next, next Tuesday. Week. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've been I've been in fat with football right now. I haven't been paying too much attention to when the season mm. comes, but mm-hmm. y'all be easy. Like Nine the video, got subscribe. Can't wait to talk about football tonight. Tune into Gridiron. Y'all be easy, bro. Be safe.